Chapter 2421 The Divine Gate's Anger, Both Sides Injured Translator Born to be the demon moon furnace that Long Chen had condensed with his spiritual strength was instantly destroyed. It was unable to block a single attack from the phoenix. Long Chen was shocked. Feng Fei's spiritual attack was incredibly sharp. Despite their spiritual strength being relatively even, with Long Chen feeling like his spiritual strength was actually somewhat stronger, when it came to using that spiritual strength, he was far inferior. Feng Fei's attack continued without pause, crashing into Long Chen's mind. See, Long Chen's body turned rigid. Feng Fei herself jumped. She had thought that with Long Chen's arrogance, he had to have some power, but his spiritual furnace was instantly broken and her attack had continued into his mind see, he would definitely die. She had only been angry with Long Chen for being so disrespectful to her and cursing her for being stupid. She had wanted to teach him a lesson, not kill him. Who would have thought that despite having such powerful spiritual strength, he had no idea how to use it. She didn't even have time to recall her attack. She felt a trace of remorse inside, but it was too late. Just at this moment, the divine gate star within Long Chen's mind sea shuddered. A ray of light shot out of it, tearing apart the spiritual attack that had entered his mind sea. The divine gate star seemed to have been provoked and unleashed its own attack. This attack not only combined all of Long Chen's spiritual strength, but it possessed its own law. It shot out of Long Chen's head, transforming into a ray of light that pierced toward the phoenix. A light sword shot out of the phoenix but it was blasted apart like rotting wood. The Divine Gate Star's attack continued to strike the phoenix. The light entered through the phoenix's head and traversed through its body, tearing through it and causing it to explode. The light then continued and struck Feng Fei. Feng Fei tottered and retreated a few steps, turning pale. A trace of blood flowed out of her mouth and dripped onto the ground. Senior Feng Fei is injured. Feng Fei's attendants hastily charged forward. They supported her shocked to find that her aura had plummeted. As for Long Chen, he was also ashen, the light in his eyes having grown dim. Just now, the attack of the Divine Gate Star had not just taken all his spiritual strength, but it had also taken the energy of the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Star, and Enlightenment Palace Stars. Only the Nether Gate Star had remained silent. The energy of the Five Stars had been sucked away. Long Chen also didn't know what that energy was precisely. In any case, he felt a wave of weakness wash over him. Bastard. Senior Feng Fei showed mercy on you, and you took advantage to launch such an insidious attack. I'll slaughter you. One of Feng Fei's bodyguards roared. Seeing Long Chen's aura was much weaker, he charged over. The other bodyguards followed. Idiot. Do you think that I can't handle you just because I'm injured? Long Chen snorted killing intent blazing in his eyes. He took out the door knocker he had taken from the gates of hell. He held it behind his back. Stop. Just at this moment, Feng Fei's voice rang out. It was clearly weak, so her injuries must be severe. Those bodyguards instantly stopped. Although they knew that this was their best chance to kill Long Chen, since Feng Fei had given them an order, they couldn't disobey. They didn't realize that Feng Fei's single word had pulled them back from the gates of hell. Once those people retreated, Long Chen put away the door knocker. No one saw his movements. He indifferently looked at Feng Fei. Feng Fei was also looking at him. She coldly said, I underestimated you. This time, it can count as a draw. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Just now, the attack had come with no warning, not giving her a chance to prepare. But Feng Fei had her own pride, and she didn't want to keep going. She had also seen that Long Chen's injuries should be worse than hers. I hope that there won't be a next time. If you do attack me next time, I might kill you, said Long Chen coldly. This foolish woman wanted his life because of her own foolishness. Even if their enmity was just a result of her stupidity, Long Chen viewed her the same as his mortal enemies. He could not be soft toward his enemies. Even if she was a peerless beauty, he would still kill her. Long Chen, you've been rude to senior Feng Fei multiple times now. I'll teach you a lesson today. At this moment, Di Feng suddenly stood up, pointing at Long Chen with condemnation. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. People all say that a weakened tiger can die to a dog, but a dog is still a dog. 
Understand this. No matter how weak the tiger grows, it can still kill you with a single slap. Even if your aura is different, even if you've obtained more from the Blood Emperor, if you dare to attack, I will still turn you into a dead dog, you. D Feng's heart shook. It seemed that Long Chen had seen through some of his secrets. It felt like he was being seen through, making him feel uneasy. Long Chen had beaten him several times now. Every time he saw Long Chen, he had heart palpitations. Long Chen could already be considered his heart devil. Don't worry, I won't take your dog life today. That's because your life isn't mine. In the future, someone else will properly settle debts with your D family, said Long Chen. What shameless boasting. Today, I'll teach you a lesson on behalf of Senior Feng Fei despite lacking some confidence. He saw how badly injured Long Chen was. This was an incredibly rare chance. As long as he could kill Long Chen, he could wipe away all his humiliation. Furthermore, he even had a good excuse so people wouldn't be able to laugh at him over taking advantage of Long Chen's condition. Adding on that this could curry favor with Feng Fei and test some of Long Chen's trump cards. He stepped forward. Just as Di Feng was about to attack, Feng Fei snorted. No one is permitted to make things hard on Long Chen today. I will personally defeat him next time. But Senior Feng Fei, he, Di Feng grew alarmed. Feng Fei didn't even look at him. She was looking at Long Chen. Although you're arrogant, you are qualified to be that way. You can go. Next time, I will make sure you are thoroughly convinced of your defeat. Since Senior Feng Fei has already spoken, shouldn't you hurry and scram? Shouted Di Feng. Enraged, Long Chen indifferently smiled. He also ignored Di Feng, saying to Feng Fei, I've already said what I had to say. The choice is up to you. Long Chen took out a flying boat and left just like that. Watching him leave, Feng Fei snorted and turned back. We're going back to the divine families. Those attendants hastily took out her carriage. She quickly got on and sped off, vanishing. Di Feng, if you go find Long Chen after I'm gone. I will kill you. Even though the chariot had vanished, Feng Fei's icy voice rang out. That woman. Di Feng clenched his teeth and punched the void. He had been planning on immediately chasing Long Chen, but she had noticed. Feng Er, endure it. Who cares about Long Chen? Compared to the big plan, he's nothing. Furthermore, Feng Fei is a heavenly genius. You have to maintain the appropriate mannerism around her. Perhaps one day, he indicated Di Long, her. Di Feng was startled but then shook his head. He was well aware that Feng Fei was too arrogant. She didn't care about any man. He could also be considered an expert in this regard. Unless he could suppress her with absolute power, she would not be tame to him. What now? We're going to leave things just like this? We're going to waste such a heaven-sent opportunity? Di Feng was unwilling. Di Long shook his head. Don't do foolish things that aren't worth it. We just have to clean up. Di Long led everyone back into the headquarters of the ancient family alliance. Big brother Long Chen. I'm curious. Why didn't you tell Feng Fei what happened? Just falling into someone else's scheme is quite irritating. Said Ling Er. Long Chen shook his head. A scheme requires idiots to cooperate. My explanation would be useless. Di Long arranged this long in advance. And they wouldn't give me any chance. I don't understand said Ling Er. It's simple. Even if I explained everything that happened clearly, Di Long would immediately apologize and then go investigate. This investigation might take 10 days, a month, or longer. Do you think that I'd wait? They know my temper, and who knows how many backups they had to create a conflict between me and Feng Fei? Even if they couldn't get her to kill me, they would make us mortal enemies. I immediately explained their plan to Feng Fei but that idiot woman still went with it. There's nothing else to do, sighed Long Chen. What about that old fellow? Are we going to let him escape so easily demanded Ling Er, still not willing to let things go. She felt very bad about letting the elder get away in his flying boat. Why bother with someone who's definitely dead? Long Chen shook his head. Chapter 2422 Returning to the Martial Heaven Alliance Translator Born to be someone about to die? Big brother Long Chen, did you give him medicine? exclaimed Ling Er. Long Chen almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. Between laughter and tears, he said, Ling Er, 
After living for so many years, can you be more accurate with your words? Are you asking if I poisoned him? Yes, that's right, said Ling Er, big brother Long Chen. I've lived for countless years, but my soul has always been independent. I have never merged with those people's souls, because if I did, I would no longer be myself. I only went through their spiritual memories when I needed to in order to search for something, or sometimes I used their souls to adjust my voice and intonation. Long Chen nodded. This was why Ling Er's voice had sounded like that of an ancient existence when she had first spoken to him. The way she spoke was also a bit strange. As Long Chen sped off in the flying boat, he didn't sense any danger. Most likely, he had no pursuers. At this moment, Ling Er materialized into a cute young lady sitting beside him. She looked at him in anticipation for an explanation. Long Chen rubbed her head. You were correct not to merge with those souls. You would have been lost within them and unable to find yourself. People will do anything in pursuit of their ultimate goals. But once they achieve them, they will naturally clean up any vestiges that look unfavorable to them. That old man was used by Di Long and will definitely be eliminated now that I'm gone. Why? Ling Er cocked her head. Because, once he's dead, the proof will be gone. They can find any random excuse to cover it up. For example, perhaps that person hated the Mo family, and the attack was entirely due to his personal enmity. Thus, it has nothing to do with the ancient family alliance. The ancient family alliance will naturally execute him upon finding that out in order to maintain their own dignity. They will explain this all very clearly to Feng Fei. The truth is covered up just like that. So, do you think there's any chance he's going to survive? Long Chen smiled. Big brother Long Chen, you saw through all this. So why did you jump into the trap anyway? With how smart you are. I'm sure you could have thought of a way to expose their plan without harming your relationship with Feng Fei, right? Asked Ling Er. That's a good question. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Why does your smile look so odd? Long Chen sighed. I can see through others but not myself. Or, rather, even if I can see through myself, sometimes I can't control myself. What was the point of just understanding? It was all too possible for him to secretly send a message to Feng Fei. He might even be able to show her a recording of the sneak attack. However, with Feng Fei's icy and arrogant manner, Long Chen had instantly lost interest in explaining. Perhaps if everyone was amicable, explaining would have been an option. But when trying to explain himself to someone looking down on him, it felt too much like begging. Long Chen was unable to do it. Sometimes Long Chen also felt very conflicted. There were many times where his intelligence was useless. Instead, his temper controlled everything. Big brother Long Chen, your face is pale. I can fly for you while you rest, said Ling Er worriedly. It's fine. We're almost there. Long Chen shook his head. He knew his current state was bad. He had not only exhausted his spiritual strength. His five stars were also out of energy. The most difficult thing was that he didn't know how his five stars were injured, so he didn't know how he could help them heal. He could only hope for them to recover on their own. He wasn't too worried about it though. The five stars had always managed to operate on their own. They should be able to fully recover in no time. Although his battle with Feng Fei had ended in a draw this time, Long Chen knew that he was the loser. He had been hoping to use his powerful spiritual strength to exhaust Feng Fei. Focusing only on defense and making her run out of spiritual strength. However, in reality, Feng Fei was much more frightening than he had anticipated. Her spiritual strength was only the slightest bit weaker than his, but her control over spiritual attacks was many times greater. Regretfully, the Pill Sovereign memories were limited to alchemy techniques when it came to controlling spiritual strength. This resulted in him having powerful spiritual strength but not being able to use it in battle. It was a pain. He wished he could have Meng Chi teach him some soul arts, but he didn't have the time to train in them. It was a distraction, let alone training in soul arts. He didn't even have time to refine pills to increase his cultivation base or satisfy the Nethergate star. He didn't have time Novaloon.com Long Chen, you were injured. When Long Chen returned, Mo Yi was shocked upon seeing his current state. Just who had managed to harm Long Chen? It's fine. Just a little surprise. 
I'm going to check on Mo Nian. Long Chen brushed it off and returned to see Mo Nian. Mo Nian was starting to thrum with vitality once more. Most likely, his astral space was fine, and his soul was starting to return. His soul had been separated from his body for so long that he needed a bit more time, but he wasn't in any danger. It seems he'll wake up within a day. If you wish, you can stay here. I can help you heal. As I see it, your core has been damaged. My Samzara power should be able to help, said the Mo family's head. As a fourth step nether passage expert, his Samzara power could heal most injuries. In truth, doing so came at a price to himself as well. Based on Long Chen's heavy injury, it would harm his own core. But any price was alright considering Long Chen had risked his life by entering the netherworld to save Mo Nian. Long Chen shook his head. There was no way the five stars would be able to recover from him. Thank you, but I can handle my injury myself. There are still three days until the star field divine world opens. Mo Nian should be able to reach his peak state during that time. We can reconvene there, said Long Chen. Despite the family heads urging him to stay, Long Chen entered the Mo family's transportation formation. After two transports, he arrived at the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Little fellow, where did you run off to? Who injured you? Upon seeing Long Chen, the old man almost blew up. Long Chen's face was still pale. It looked like he was close to death. Hu Jinying and the others also jumped. Long Chen's aura was incredibly weak, and his eyes had lost any luster. It's fine. It's fine. I'm slowly recovering, said Long Chen. He really was feeling better. In just this short time, his five stars had started to recover and nourish his body. He estimated that the five stars would be fully recovered in just another day. Speak, which shameless old fellow actually dared to attack you, demanded the old man. In his view, this was definitely done by a fourth step nether passage expert, and one who had reached the pinnacle of that realm at that. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Don't mention it again. I lost face this time. I was injured by someone of an equivalent cultivation base. Impossible. The old man and the others refused to believe it. Within the same realm, who could injure Long Chen? Was it Di Feng or Tian Zizi? In their eyes, those were the only two possibilities. Last time, during Long Chen's tribulation, he had made them flee for their lives and since then they hadn't dared to come out again. Had they run into some miracle that allowed their combat power to soar? It wasn't them. It was someone from the divine families. Her name is Feng Fei, said Long Chen. Feng Fei? You. You actually fought with her. You know of her, asked Long Chen, surprised. Of course. Three days ago, she came to the Martial Heaven Alliance and asked how many spots we wanted for the Starfield Divine World. Heavens. She is definitely the one closest to becoming a sovereign right now. You actually fought with her. Hu Jinying and the others were shocked. Hu Jinying demanded, You fool, how did you end up fighting her? Are you happy now that you were defeated? What are you saying? Who cares about some Feng Fei? Why can't he fight her? The old man's expression immediately sank upon seeing Hu Jinying scold Long Chen. Long Chen naturally had to have no other choice but to fight her. Even if he lost, who beats a dispirited child like this? Hu Jinying's anger also surged. But the old man's last words made her feel like she had gone a bit too far. Long Chen naturally must be feeling bad and blaming himself already for losing. She was about to comfort him a bit when Long Chen said, Actually, it wasn't a defeat. Her injuries are no lighter than mine. It can be considered a draw what everyone's jaw dropped. Chapter 2423 Netherbeast Translator Born to be brat. Are you bragging? Ha ha ha. No, you're definitely not. Ha ha ha. The old man patted Long Chen's shoulder forcibly, laughing extremely proudly. Hu Jinying, Li Xiangxuan, and the others were also shocked and delighted. Although they had not witnessed Feng Fei fight, her aura had been enough to terrify them. These fellows that had lived for several centuries all had a sharp vision. They knew that Feng Fei was a terrifying existence, and also knew that the divine families had sent her to intimidate them and make them aware of the divine family's power. Feng Fei made all other heavenly geniuses lose their splendor. They were like fireflies trying to compare to the moon. When Feng Fei had arrived, 
All the disciples had come out to take a look, but Feng Fei had found them too unworthy for even a second glance. Only the Dragonblood Legion had made her eyes brighten for a moment. She had said that they were worthy of being the continent's number one Legion. After that, she received the numbers that Ku Jianying had supplied and then left. She had been there for no more than a few minutes but had still left behind an impression of an insurmountable mountain. Her power made others despair and give up hope of ever reaching the top, adding in her peerless beauty which made others submit. They wondered if this was the model of a sovereign. Compared to Feng Fei, other heavenly geniuses like Di Feng and Tian Zizi were nothing. Hearing that Long Chen had actually eked out a draw with her was something difficult to believe, but they knew that he disdained lying. Haha. <laughs> Long Chen, you're back. We've already started climbing in the Nether Passage realm. Damn, what happened to you? Just at this moment, the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance heard that Long Chen had returned and began congregating. Yi Lingxian, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao came in. Bao Buping jumped in shock upon seeing Long Chen's current state. Seeing them, Long Chen also jumped. You, are my eyes more damaged than I thought? You've reached the third step of Nether Passage? How did you do that? It was Long Chen's turn to be filled with disbelief. They clearly possessed the death chi of a third step Nether Passage expert. Not only that, but they were able to easily keep that aura inside, which meant that they had reached that realm a while ago. How did they advance so quickly? When he had left, they had clearly just started attempting to reach the second step. Long Chen, at this moment, Meng Chi. Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, Lu Ruian, Cloud, and the rest of the Dragonblood Legion came over. Long Chen jumped once more. Every single one of them had reached the third step. Even the lazy Guo Ran had done it. But his aura was still fluctuating, showing that he had just reached that realm and was still unable to fully control it. Upon hearing that Long Chen had fought to a draw with Feng Fei, the Dragonblood warriors cheered. Guo Ran even began to brag. Do you see? My boss is unrivaled. If she dared to be arrogant, my boss would make her. Cough. Guo Ran had his mouth covered by Long Chen. This fellow was unable to control his own mouth once he opened it, and it would end up conning him instead. Meng Chi and the others involuntarily laughed. They knew Guo Ran's character and knew that he wasn't saying it out of malice. He just liked bragging. Feng Fei's arrival had given them immense pressure. Yu Zifeng had even said that she was stronger than Long Chen. Although it was a simple intimidation tactic, it was truly effective. Yu Zifeng had said that he didn't even have the courage to draw his sword against Feng Fei. When speaking about pure combat power, Yu Zifeng had always been the most terrifying one aside from Long Chen. Furthermore, he was a sword cultivator with his own undefeatable will, but he was unable to find any weakness within Feng Fei. Drawing his sword would be meaningless. Feng Fei was just that much stronger than he was. Boss, what were you doing? Your cultivation base didn't increase at all. Gu Yang frowned upon sensing that Long Chen's cultivation base was still at the initial entry to Nether Passage. Don't even mention it. I've been so busy that I didn't have time to cultivate. But how did your cultivation bases grow so quickly? Asked Long Chen. Meng Chi explained. It's because we occupied the largest qi flow stream during the qi flow eruption. The heavenly deos have started to change. We can clearly sense the heavenly deos supporting us and helping us cultivate many times faster than before. Furthermore, the blessing of the heavenly deos ensures that we won't have to deal with heart devils. We don't need to suppress our cultivation bases for fear of our foundations growing unstable. Long Chen suddenly understood. So the effect of the chi flow eruption was manifesting itself now. We've heard word from the other powers, and although they've also been blessed by the heavenly deos, the effect is not as great as ours. Tang Wan'er giggled. Long Chen nodded and looked up at the dark sky. It looked like a curtain of darkness was about to descend. The aura of the heavenly deos had changed. It seems that this phenomenon is closely linked to the dark era. The martial heaven continent wishes to protect itself. So it is blessing the heavenly geniuses in hopes of them growing stronger and driving off those enemies. This is not just a battle for the martial heaven continent's life forms but a battle for the very survival of the martial heaven continent correct. 
the current state of the heavenly geniuses of the continent is incomparable to any other era. This dark era will definitely be on an unprecedented level. However, there is still no sign of a sovereign being born, said Ku Jinying. Feng Fei might possess the qualification to become a sovereign, but the heavenly deos have not manifested the crown around her, so she has not received the continent's approval yet. With the sovereign still not being apparent, dark undercurrents are flowing. No one has confidence in being able to survive the upcoming battle only a sovereign who had received the approval of heaven and earth would be able to earn everyone's faith. It didn't matter what side they were on, they would follow a sovereign. A sovereign was the only one capable of uniting the various powers against the invaders. However, a sovereign had yet to appear. That worried people even more. Without a sovereign, the continent would not be united. How would they face their enemies? Guo Ran said, what is there to fear? As long as my boss is present, there's no problem. Once my boss's realm reaches that level, Di Feng and Feng Fei will be nothing. Plus, the brothers of the Dragonblood Legion aren't just window dressing. No matter how strong Feng Fei is, if the entire Dragonblood Legion is present, we won't fear her. Guo Ran seemed to have even more confidence in Long Chen than Long Chen himself. He had absolute confidence in him as well as in the Dragonblood Legion. They had also gone through a transformation during this time. Don't brag. Take advantage of this time to increase your realm as much as possible, said Long Chen. He then bade farewell to the old man and the others. After that, Men Chi brought Long Chen to a secluded area. This was an isolated mountain that was the best place for entering seclusion within the Martial Heaven Alliance. The entire mountain was covered in spirit formations that linked together. Holding Men Qi's hand and looking at her beautiful face, Long Chen suddenly felt full of confidence. He had to protect them. He couldn't let them worry. Perhaps this was his greatest motivation to continue forward. Men Qi, I brought you back some things. See if you can use them. Long Chen summoned a giant skeleton. Men Qi exclaimed, A nether beast, you recognize it? asked Long Chen. No, all I know is that the netherworld has its own demonic beasts. The marks on the bones are specific to those beasts. I saw an introduction about them in a badly damaged bone shard, but it didn't explain the various types. Where did you get this? As a beast tamer, Men Chi was constantly looking for more information relating to her profession. With the Huai insect's help, she had looked through many ancient tomes that others had never had a chance to peruse. That was what allowed her to recognize the origin of this skeleton. He, this is something that Mo Nian and I dug out of a grave. Do you think it's useful? I remember you saying that there was a technique to control beast corpses, said Long Chen. That technique is for the Martial Heaven Continent's magical beasts. But it also requires the crystal core to be fully intact and still contain a trace of soul essence. These nether beasts. Men Chi didn't feel much confidence in this. If she failed to control it, the crystal core would shatter. Such a priceless treasure would be gone in an instant. It's fine. It wasn't bought with money. So losing it wouldn't be painful, said Long Chen. Seeing how nervous she was, he waved his hand, bringing out more skeletons. There's plenty even if it's a failure. Even if they all break, they can be used as food for wild. Long Chen took out 36 skeletons at once to lighten the pressure on Meng Chi. After all, if crystal cores on this level were embedded into certain armor or weapons, it would bring them immense power. Meng Chi was shocked but also comforted. With so many of them, she wasn't too worried about losing one or two. She formed a hand seal, and a flower mark appeared on her forehead. As she reached out, a gentle light landed on one of the skulls. The beast's body shuddered, and following that, a berserk aura rose. Long Chen's expression changed and he immediately appeared in front of Meng Chi. It's going to explode. Chapter 2424 Refining Pills Together Translator Born to be this was a nether beast above the nether passage realm. Although its flesh had vanished, the detonation of its crystal core could blast this mountain to pieces. Suddenly, nine lotuses bloomed above Meng Chi's head. Divine light flowed out, enveloping the crystal core and pacifying the berserk energy within. The Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill had come out at this critical moment, using some unknown method to suppress the explosive energy. I understand. 
Meng Chi suddenly laughed. Just now, the technique of the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill had made her realize that her method was wrong. After all, she didn't have experience in this regard and was trying to control it like controlling demonic beasts. But that didn't work on this. Now, her spiritual strength once more gathered, and she used a different technique to enter the Nether Beast's crystal core. This time, there was no explosive reaction. After an incense stick's worth of time, the skeleton shuddered for an instant before becoming motionless once more. Was it a failure although he had expected this? Long Chen couldn't help being a bit disappointed. No, it was a success. Meng Chi wiped away a trace of sweat and smiled excitedly. Then why? Long Chen pointed to the motionless corpse. I've managed to stimulate the energy within the crystal core. However, after so many years, there's less than a tenth of the original energy within the core. In other words, once I activate it, it will only be able to keep fighting for at most two hours. After that, the core's energy will run out and it will no longer be usable. So summoning it now would be a waste. Explained Meng Chi. Ah, I see. Then you're right. Don't waste it. Said Long Chen. Long Chen. I've also found a trace of these nether beast soul essence within their crystal cores. I'm going to extract it and condense a life soul beast. Your soul energy is also strong enough to condense one. Said Meng Chi. Her eyes were shining brightly. The soul essence of these nether beasts was incredibly powerful and the perfect choice for condensing a soul beast. Long Chen shook his head. I don't walk the path of a soul cultivator. I don't have the energy to raise a soul beast. It's not worth the distraction. The soul beast didn't just require nourishment from the soul but also constant communication to erase its violent will. Long Chen didn't have that patience or time. Then I'll go ask Wan Er and Chu Yao, said Meng Chi. Long Chen once more shook his head. No, Chu Yao and Wan Er have powerful spiritual strength, but they have their own specialties. Unless they can find soul essence containing powerful wood essence or wind essence, there's no point in them raising such a soul beast. In fact, even if one of these beasts is of the right attribute, due to coming from the netherworld, their core energy will definitely have some differences. Transforming that energy will take more time than it's worth. Meng Chi nodded. Maybe I'm just too excited a soul beast was a powerful helper, capable of offense and defense. For herself, with her pure spiritual strength of no other attribute, she was a true beast tamer. Because she had no other attributes, she could control beasts of all attributes. A beast tamer with the flame attribute wouldn't be able to control water attribute magical beasts. That was not the same for other people. You can take them all. Pick out the strongest one to condense your life soul beast. You can turn the rest into ordinary soul beasts. He, I really look forward to seeing how strong you are. Big sister Meng Chi, you'll have to look after this little brother in the future. Long Chen smiled and wrapped his arms around her waist. Meng Chi kissed Long Chen lightly on the cheek. All right, don't make a fuss. You should focus on healing and cultivating. You're the one with the lowest cultivation base now. I also have to go activate these skeletons one by one. He, don't worry, your big sister will definitely protect you. Meng Chi winked and left, taking the skeletons with her. Long Chen sorted out his feelings, activating the formation. He isolated himself from the rest of the world. It was time to refine pills. Long Chen began taking out one medicinal ingredient after another. After counting them all, he nodded. He had all 317 ingredients that he needed. Huo Long is still in slumber. I don't know whether I'll affect it if I use its flames. Huo Long had gone into slumber after devouring the heavenly flame orb. Long Chen could clearly sense it undergoing some kind of transformation. But now he needed to refine pills. If he used Huo Long's energy, what if that affected it? Big brother Long Chen, I can help. I haven't fully recovered. So my core flame can't be used for battle, but it should be all right for this, said Ling Er. Won't using the core flame damage you? Asked Long Chen. If the core flame is constantly exhausted without being replenished, then there will definitely be damage. But just refining pills for a few days shouldn't have an effect. My core flame has recovered immensely from the trip to the netherworld. If it's not an incredibly strong pill, and you support me with your spiritual strength, 
I don't foresee any issues, said Linger very confidently. Excellent. Linger, it's up to you. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on using the moon and star refining furnace because it had refined countless pills and had immense experience. However, it had yet to fully recover. He had no idea how many years it might take if he was constantly using its core energy. Since Linger could help, Long Chen didn't take the risk of using Huo Long's energy. Although refining pills with Linger required some breaking in due to her lack of experience, she was quite talented. Linger, I will refine the Yin Yang Merger Dao pill twice without your help. Watch closely, said Long Chen. Long Chen began to send medicinal ingredients into the Demon Moon Furnace. A flame ignited within and enveloped those ingredients. Last time when they had refined pills, Long Chen had left his spiritual mark within the Demon Moon Furnace. That was why he was able to communicate so easily with Linger. Linger's core flame was no longer the old color. Now, it was a light green color. It was extremely pure and stable. Using this core flame, Long Chen formed 137 flame furnaces within the Demon Moon Furnace to refine these ingredients. Big Brother Long Chen, you're so amazing. Linger had never seen such powerful alchemy arts. This could no longer be considered to be on the same level as doing two things at once. Linger, do your best to learn this. The more demonic pills that you refine, the stronger you'll grow. Long Chen taught her with his full abilities. The more she learned, the happier he was. As Long Chen controlled the flame, he also explained things to Linger. Things such as how to control the temperature, what to pay attention to while purifying the ingredients what kind of color the ingredients should have, etc. As an item spirit, Linger memorized everything that he said. The runes inside her also memorized the way that Long Chen's flame changed. She truly learned quickly. Once the refinement of all the medicinal powders was complete, Long Chen sent them into Linger's storage space. That way, she could directly use them to refine pills on her own without asking him for more ingredients. Following that, Long Chen truly started the refinement of the Yun Yang Merger Dao pill. This was a pill used for those who had just entered the Nether Passage realm. It was used to balance the life and death energy within the body. Long Chen refined it twice, each time refining nine high-grade pills. Because it was just a display, Long Chen didn't waste too much energy on them, resulting in them not being top grade. After finishing, he tossed them away. Linger, you try now. You can use your demonic runes. Linger assented. Her runes lit up as she worked together with Long Chen to refine the next furnace of pills. This time, Long Chen also sent in more spiritual strength. Linger's cooperation was excellent after the two refinements, and there were no big mistakes. In just a few minutes, the first furnace of pills was complete. The lid opened, revealing nine black and white pills. They charged out of the furnace ferociously going straight toward Long Chen. These were demonic pills that were naturally fierce. They were very difficult to subdue. Long Chen waved his hand, tossing them into the primal chaos space. There, Lai Long devoured them. They crazily bounced around within Lai Long's mouth, trying to escape, but their struggle was useless. Well done. However, there were three small flaws. Although they were top grade, quite a bit of their medicinal energy slipped away. Let's go again, said Long Chen. They refined three furnaces of pills in a row. Linger finally fully mastered the refinement of the Yun Yang Merger Dao pill. Long Chen praised Linger, delighting her. Refining demonic pills could be considered a form of cultivation for her, so she had gained quite a bit. Long Chen had Linger refine pills on her own, while a pill wrapped in lightning appeared in his hand. Time to test the effect. Long Chen tossed the Yun Yang Merger Dao pill into his mouth. It instantly exploded and sent a wave of berserk energy throughout his entire body. Chapter 2425 Second Havenstage of Nether Passage Translator Born to be it was as if millions of wild lions were running rampant within Long Chen's body. The medicinal energy was erupting like a volcano, wanting to explode Long Chen's body. A demonic pill really is demonic. They're both powerful and vicious. Not just anyone would be able to endure this energy. Long Chen was shaken inside. Last time, he had refined a giant pill and learned of the terrifying medicinal effect of demonic pills. However, this time, 
It wasn't a giant pill, but its effect was still more ferocious than he had expected. Most likely, this was the result of Linger's trip to the netherworld. She had gotten stronger, resulting in stronger demonic pills. Demonic pills earned their namesake due to the violent demonic energy within them. They possessed a berserk will that had an immense burden on not just the physical body, but also the soul and mind. Orthodox alchemists viewed demonic pills as evil entities due to their strong side effects. Occasionally, eating one or two might not be a problem, but if consumed over the long term, they would create a dependence that a person wouldn't be able to extricate themselves from. The mind would become twisted. That was why demonic pills were not recognized according to the normal alchemy world. However, Long Chen disagreed. Everything existed for a reason. There was nothing meaningless within the heavenly deos. A sword had two edges. Whether it was used to kill enemies or cut one's own neck was based on the user, not the sword itself. Those so-called side effects were because the ones consuming the pills didn't have strong enough bodies or firm enough wills, resulting in the demonic pills invading them. The dependence on the pills was due to seeking greater medicinal effects while ignoring the burden to their body. However, it was true that a demonic pill was really not something an ordinary person could consume. Long Chen wasn't planning on giving even the Dragon Blood Warriors this kind of pill. Long Chen consumed three demonic pills, and an endless torrent of medicinal energy was raging throughout his body. His originally messy spiritual Yuan gradually began to clear up. Black and white specks appeared as the medicinal energy violently crashed through his meridians. The messy spiritual Yuan represented an initial entry into the Nether Passage realm. It could not even be fully considered the first step. Only when life and death energy started to manifest would it be considered the first step. When the spiritual Yuan was turbid, it represented that the life and death energy had yet to separate and was still unusable. Now Long Chen was starting to separate them. With the assistance of the Yun Yang merger Dao Pill, his life and death energy began to differentiate. For others, they required heavenly Tao energy as a reference and to corroborate this process. Normally this was very slow, but due to the current era, everyone's cultivation speed had increased. The Dragonblood Legion in particular had the aid of Lu Ruian. She had absorbed the comprehension of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. Her life and death domain had become a perfect place for everyone's cultivation. Adding on the blessing of the heavenly Deos. The Martial Heaven Alliance's experts had reached an unimaginable speed in terms of their cultivation. However, even that speed could not compare to Long Chen. He had no need to comprehend life and death. He didn't need the heavenly deos. He didn't need a reference or someone to corroborate his understanding. The Nine Star Hegemon Body Arts cultivation method was to simply eat more and more pills. As he consumed one pill after another. His spiritual yuan gradually became two colors, one black as ink, one white as jade. Linger, there's no need for more yin yang merger dao pills. I'll teach you to refine the tiger bone life spirit pill now, said Long Chen. While Long Chen was busy consuming pills, Linger had refined two more furnaces of pills. That was enough. Any more would be a waste since no one else could consume these pills. After that, he took out more ingredients and taught Linger another pill formula. Linger's ability to work together with Long Chen grew smoother as they gained experience. They quickly finished another furnace of pills. The lid opened and a tiger roared, shaking the room. One giant tiger after another came charging out at Long Chen. The runes of the Demon Moon furnace lit up, and those tigers vanished. They transformed into pills that were white as snow. Inside of these pills was a milky light emitting boundless life energy. Even with the formation around him, Long Chen noticed the vegetation in the surroundings starting to grow faster. The tiger bone life spirit pills effect actually reached out of the formation. The surrounding vegetation greedily absorbed the life energy filling the air. What a powerful medicinal effect. As expected of top grade demonic pills. Even without undergoing a tribulation. It is so powerful praised Long Chen. He refined two more furnaces of this pill before having Linger refine them on her own. He then went to finish consuming the Yun Yang merger Dao pills. When all of them were consumed, his body rumbled. He sensed the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate Star Shudder. 
his 108,000 astral spaces grew once more. The primal chaos whirling around them also split into black and white parts. The Divine Gate star flashed repeatedly. Long Chen felt his mind see start to change. It began to grow rapidly. He could sense his spiritual strength growing along with it. Advancing to the first step of Nether Passage actually resulted in my spiritual strength transforming as well. Damn. My mind see has doubled in size. I wonder if I would be able to block Feng Fei's attack now with just this spiritual strength. Long Chen was astounded by this pleasant surprise. However, when he thought about it, he shook his head. No matter how strong his spiritual strength grew, the quality of his techniques hadn't. He couldn't bring out the full potential of this immense spiritual strength. But it was still a nice surprise. Long Chen began to laugh in delight at reaching the first step, but he suddenly shut his mouth. Within the entire Dragonblood Legion, even a lazy slacker like Guo Ran had reached the third step. His first step didn't seem so dazzling. Gotta keep going. Long Chen took out the Tiger Bone Life Spirit Pills. Upon consuming one, a tiger row rang out. The milky white medicinal energy surged through his body like lava. The Cloud Stepping Tiger is the only magical beast that doesn't consume flesh, but only consumes various spirit fruits to extend its life. If refined into an ordinary pill, it is so gentle that even someone in the Xi'anshan realm would be able to consume it without a problem. But once refined into a demonic pill, even such gentle medicinal energy becomes violent. This world really is full of Marvel's Long Chen side inside. This world was full of things that he didn't know. The pill sovereign's memories contained the refinement techniques for demonic pills. But there were many principles involved that he didn't understand. He just had the knowledge without the why. The pill Dao, the martial Dao, and every other Dao were boundless. It was possible to spend a lifetime studying one without learning even a tenth of its profundities. It truly made a person sigh. Long Chen discarded those distracting thoughts and focused on absorbing the medicinal energy. As he absorbed the energy of the Tiger Bone Life Spirit Pill, his originally equal life and death energy changed. His life energy gradually began to suppress his death energy. When the life and death energy separated, it marked the first step. When the life energy suppressed the death energy, it marked the second step. The death energy grew smaller and smaller. It gradually approached a 60-40 proportion. Long Chen found that even when the life energy occupied 60% and his death energy was clearly compressed, there was still a kind of balance between the two sides. The death energy becomes more condensed as it is pressured, strengthening it. So that's how it goes, realized Long Chen. He continued consuming pills. Other people needed to borrow the world's life energy to suppress their death energy. But Long Chen had no need to do so. He had a feeling that the heavens might even strike him down if he tried to absorb its life energy. When his life and death energy reached a 70-30 proportion, his body shuddered, and his astral spaces grew once more. Is this the first vestige of Nether Passage? Long Chen smiled. Based on the Martial Heaven Continent's cultivation rules, only upon reaching the first step did one's cultivation truly start. The third Havenstage was considered the second step, the Life Realm. The sixth Havenstage was considered the third step, the Death Realm. The ninth Havenstage was considered the fourth step, the Samsara Realm. Long Chen suddenly felt something was off. The Nine Star Hegemon body art had more Havenstages than others. Was there a fifth step? His confidence flagged. He was still a blind man groping around when it came to the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Whatever. There has to be a path. If there's not, I'll create one. Long Chen clenched his teeth and decided not to think so far in advance. He continued consuming pills. Linger was truly amazing. One furnace of pills after another entered Long Chen's mouth. These top-grade demonic pills that would cause others to explode were eaten like candy. He never stopped. And his life energy rapidly grew. Boom. Another explosion came from within Long Chen's body. He entered the second Havenstage of Nether Passage. Chapter 2426 Moving out for the Starfield Divine World Translator. Born to be at this moment, the life and death energy within Long Chen's body had reached an 80-20 proportion. His life energy was growing stronger, compacting the space of his death energy. However, 
Although his death energy shrank, it grew more condensed. It was as if the pressure of the life energy was refining it. Upon entering the second vestige of Nether Passage, Long Chen sensed his five stars and 108,000 astral spaces transformed once more. His astral spaces in particular had grown larger and stronger. The most unbelievable thing was that despite his spiritual space not growing again, his spiritual strength grew more solid. It was now much stronger than before. The downside of entering the second vestige was that he found that his life energy was now finding it very taxing to compress his death energy. Even with the help of the Tiger Bone Life Spirit Pill, his death energy had reached a certain level of density that it was resisting any further compression. Fortunately, he had Linger giving him an unending supply of pills. He was consuming demonic pills one after another. If the outside world saw this, they would definitely die of shock. A top grade 12th tier demonic pill could make a nether passage expert instantly explode. Linger was even more excited than Long Chen. She didn't pause. She finished each furnace of pills in just a few breaths time. That made Long Chen jump. Was this really alchemy? It seemed more like she was cooking meatballs with how fast she was going. Long Chen had Linger slow down a bit. She was in such a rush because this process of refining demonic pills was activating many inactive runes on her body. The more demonic pills that she refined, the more demonic spiritual energy she absorbed from the air. That energy was the crux of awakening those runes Novaloon.com Long Chen was worried about Linger growing too excited and damaging her core in her hurry. Then it would take a long time to recover. However, Linger said that she knew what she was doing and kept her energy recovery in the back of her mind. Since she was so sure that she wouldn't injure herself, Long Chen didn't bother her further. Hours flew by. Long Chen estimated that he had consumed over 3,000 Tiger Bone Life Spirit pills since reaching the second vestige. Finally, another explosive sound rang out. A wave of chi erupted out of Long Chen, breaking through the formation and whirling into the sky. Life energy made greenery cover the mountain in an instant. Withered trees once more germinated. Long Chen felt a youthful energy pulsing within him. It felt as if he could nourish all things within this world. It was an indescribable feeling. In that instant, Long Chen felt like he had been reborn. He felt completely different from before. My life energy has reached 90%, with my death energy having been compressed to the pinnacle. I can freely control life energy. Long Chen clenched his fist, excitedly sensing the changes in his body. He almost cried out upon sensing the changes to his body. His mind see had started to give rise to soul runes. Those runes were as tiny as specks of dust, but they were definitely present. Before this, his spiritual strength had been formless, but now, he found that these runes were moving as he wished. Although he hadn't used them in battle yet, he was confident that if he gathered all his spiritual strength once more, he definitely wouldn't have his defenses instantly pierced by Feng Fei's life soul beast. I really want to fight her again. Long Chen clenched his fist. Last time, he had lost in the soul competition. If the Divine Gate Star hadn't taken action, the consequences would have been unthinkable. But now that he had reached the second step of Nether Passage, his spiritual strength had also grown. The Nether Passage realm was truly inconceivable. Perhaps the reason my spiritual strength lost to Feng Fei's was because of my realm. Feng Fei has never revealed her own realm. Long Chen suddenly recalled that he didn't truly know Feng Fei's realm. He looked toward his astral spaces. Life spiritual chi filled them. When he linked them together, he felt endless energy within his body. He had an urge to find a powerful expert to fight. It had been a long time since he had felt his energy grow so explosively. Boss, just as Long Chen was immersed in his delight at advancing, Guo Ran came rushing in due to the disturbance. You've advanced to the second step so quickly. Guo Ran was shocked. Long Chen had only been back for two and a half days. He had yet to even reach the first step when he had arrived, with his life and death energy still not being separate. But he had not reached the second step. The Dragon Blood Warriors had the blessing of the Heavenly Deos and Luru Ion's Yin and Yang energy. Their cultivation bases could only be described as soaring daily. Kujin Ying and the elders could only sigh when they saw that. However, Long Chen had progressed even faster than them. That was beyond monstrous. 
This is pretty slow. My goal was to reach the third step. Long Chen shook his head. Damn. Guo Ran almost coughed up blood. That was far too arrogant. Long Chen's goal had truly been the third step, but he was requiring far more medicinal pills than he had anticipated. Before this, when he had calculated that he had enough pills, he had linger stop refining the tiger bone life spirit pill. He could sense that her aura was flagging. In her excitement, she hadn't noticed. Now, he had a few leftover tiger bone life spirit pills. He tossed them into the primal chaos space. Even if he had no use for them, he couldn't sell them to others. That might cause a calamity. Originally, Long Chen had wanted Ling Er to refine some death spirit pills, but Ling Er was too excited. He was afraid of her secretly refining beyond her limits, so he decided to put a pause on things. Has the time come? asked Long Chen. Yes, the Martial Heaven Alliance's people have gathered. The Alliance had had me come get you, said Guo Ran. Long Chen nodded and left toward the palace with Guo Ran. There were hundreds of thousands of disciples gathered in the plaza in front of the palace. Cheers rang out when those disciples saw Long Chen. The news that he had fought to a draw with Feng Fei had reached all their ears. When Feng Fei had come, almost all of them had personally seen her peerless beauty and power. She was someone venerated like a god, an unrivaled existence. But Long Chen had still drawn with her. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, Lu Ruyan, Cloud, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, Li Qi, and Yu Zifen were leading the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors. All of them were like sharp divine weapons ready for combat. Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the rest of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples were present. Meanwhile, Hua Xiaoyu and Zhao Ziyan were leading the elites of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The disciples from the various sects of the Martial Heaven Alliance were all here, waiting to move out. They looked at Long Chen emotionally. Long Chen, it's almost time. Do you want to say a few words? asked the old man. The alliance head would be more suited to such a thing, said Long Chen. Jin Ying has spoken. You can add a few more words. After all, Upon entering the territory of the divine families, everyone will be listening to you. You can state any plans you have now, said the old man. Hu Jinying had said some encouraging words before Long Chen had arrived. If nothing else, she wanted them to cherish this opportunity. They were to be careful and not cause unnecessary trouble. All right, then I'll say some simple words. Long Chen nodded and stood before everyone. Overlooking the hundreds of thousands of disciples, his voice rang out loud and clear. Brothers and sisters of the Martial Heaven Alliance, we will be entering the Starfield Divine World in search of chances to increase our realms and change our fates. You're all aware of the tribulation approaching this world, so I won't talk about that. You know how serious this situation is. What we need to do is use our limited resources to get as strong as possible. We cannot give up the slightest chance that will allow us to survive the upcoming tribulation. Every bit stronger you get is a bit more hope for the Martial Heaven continent. So, what I want to tell you is, we will not be causing trouble in the Starfield Divine World. But if anyone dares to provoke us, whether they're from the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, or even disciples from the divine families, you still need to slap them in the face. The old man smiled, while Ku Jinying sighed. This little fellow was always like this. She asked everyone not to cause trouble, while Long Chen encouraged them. Ku Jinying glared at the old man and suddenly reached out and viciously pinched his waist. She realized that he was dissatisfied with her words from before, and rather than say it himself, he had used Long Chen to speak. Long Chen continued, I am not joking. At this time, even the slightest chance can determine whether you live or die. This relates to the very survival of the Martial Heaven continent. We won't take opportunities from others, but if others want to take your opportunities, then it's not just bullying at this point, it is murder. You don't need to be courteous to such people. As long as you are not in the wrong, then don't be afraid. Beat them. If you can't beat them, call for me and I will beat them. Remember, Anyone who is against us is our enemy at this time. Mercy and compassion are not for enemies. We will definitely encounter many trials within the Starfield Divine World. The pickings are slim, and there are many people fighting over them. 
conflicts will definitely occur, so remember to be united. Only by being united can we avoid being picked off one by one. That is the only way to increase our chances of survival and win more opportunities. Understood. Understood. The disciples roared with passion, hearing that they didn't need to give face or concede to anyone, not even to the divine families, lit a blazing fire within them. Move out, Long Chen shouted, and the disciples poured into the transportation formation. Chapter 2427 The Senior Generation's Commitment Translator Born to be watching as the disciples entered the transportation formation one group after another. The various sect leaders nodded and waved toward their disciples. Perhaps it was because of the impending dark era, but they had temporarily set aside all their personal grievances. At this point in time, the Martial Heaven Alliance had reached an unprecedented level of unity. Both the senior generation and the junior generation were profoundly aware that if they still didn't unite at this time, the dark era would be the end of the entire Martial Heaven continent. The Martial Heaven Alliance was founded due to the righteous path being scattered grains of sand. They united in order to protect themselves. Now, the Martial Heaven Alliance had returned to that state. Back in the time of the senior generation, Hu Jinying had led the Martial Heaven Alliance in a successful campaign against the corrupt path, fighting battle after battle. But not everyone was won over by her. Hu Jinying was willing to spill blood for the Alliance and it was true that she was powerful. But in the cultivation world where power was respected, an overwhelming power that could suppress others was the only way to get people to worship you. Moral character was not enough. So while the senior generation's people all acknowledged her, only a few actually worshipped her. Due to this, some people's morality had grown lacking, but she still had a group of loyal followers. As cultivators, the strong were worshipped. As long as you were strong enough, everything that you said was right. Hu Jinying had not reached that level of power in her era. But now, the Martial Heaven Alliance had such a figure. That figure was Long Chen. Although he was not the future alliance head, everyone knew it was because he disdained that position and would rather have his freedom. Long Chen had previously said that he would have to obediently listen to Yi Lingxian's orders. Although it had contained a slight joking tone. Everyone knew that he was expressing that as long as he was present, Yi Lingxian's position could not be shaken by anyone. In title, Yi Lingxian was the future leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance. But in reality, Long Chen was the true mental pillar of the disciples. They felt even greater admiration for Long Chen due to this decision to purely focus on the Martial Dao and not abandon it for some status or position. They understood that true experts disdained such a thing. That was why they all listened to Yi Lingxian's orders without hesitation. They knew that Yi Lingxian's orders represented Long Chen's. A total of 800,000 disciples were moving out at the same time. It was a grand sight. The Martial Heaven Alliance's transportation formation was constantly flashing as disciples entered one group after another. Seeing those disciples' fearless gazes, quite a few of the elders felt sour inside. The Starfield Divine World was considered a remnant from ancient times. Hence, there were people from the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, and other powers entering as well. Even the Sea Demon race was entering, ignoring the dangers of the actual Starfield Divine World. With so many enemy experts inside, it was unknown how many people would be returning alive. They were extremely unwilling to let their disciples go, but this era was not theirs. They could only smile and wave in encouragement. In the end, the last batch of people left were the Dragonblood Legion as well as the various lead disciples such as Yi Lingxian, Chang Hao, Bao Buping, and the others. Let's go. Long Chen cupped his fists toward the old man and led that group into the transportation formation. Seeing them about to leave, Hu Jinying was about to speak when she was stopped by the old man. Don't. Telling them to be cautious is unnecessary. The children have grown, and they know what to do. We have to trust them. Hu Jinying had no children, but she viewed her disciples as her children. With those children leaving, she felt hollow inside. Li Xiangxuan added, Don't worry, with Long Chen present, they definitely won't be on the losing end. Hu Jinying nodded, Yes, I trust them. If the children are working so hard, the adults can't slack off. Long Chen left some barrier breaking pills for me. 
Anyone who has reached the third step of Nether Passage and wishes to attempt reaching the fourth step can take one. Barrier Breaking Pills. Yes. Twelfth tier top grade barrier breaking pills. As long as your death energy has not proliferated, you can consume one, said Kujinying. Yan Nanshan and the other Grand Elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance couldn't help shaking their heads and sighing. They hadn't been born in the right era. These barrier-breaking pills would not help them. Yan Nanshan added, You should think about this. These barrier-breaking pills will instantly stimulate your death energy. Since each person has different aptitudes and some people have been stuck at the third step for too long, this stimulation may be too much for your life and death energy to ever balance again. You would be unable to reach the Samsara realm, and your life and death energy might solidify. You would never be able to use your life and death energy again. Yan Nanshan was warning them that these barrier-breaking pills were not risk-free. They had to think about it before using them. One of the elders suddenly said, Alliance head, please give me one. If I still don't take this chance, I'm going to be buried in the ground before long. So what if I'm crippled? This era isn't ours. If I don't break through, I won't be able to do anything. But if I succeed, perhaps I can do something on the battlefield. Even if I can't do anything big, perhaps I can save at least one child. The other experts couldn't help being moved. This person was a sect leader. He was willing to take this risk. These elders who had missed this era had managed to advance to the third step due to the change in heaven and earth. However, the third step was the limit. The heavenly deos did not assist them in advancing any further. A top-grade barrier-breaking pill gave them a slight chance of reaching the fourth step. But even then, their combat power would not compare to a true fourth-step nether passage expert. The lack of talent and aptitude could not be made up for with this pill. Normally, such a risk would not be worth it. However, this sect leader was clear. At the very least, if it succeeded, he might be able to become a sacrificial meat shield on the battlefield at a critical time. If he didn't make this breakthrough, then he wouldn't even be qualified to do that. This heroism affected all of them. Alliance head, are there enough barrier-breaking pills? Can I have one? I want one as well. All those who had reached the third step began to step forward. A determined light in their eyes. Kujinying was moved. Who said that the righteous paths experts were all selfish? When a great calamity descended, their light shone just as bright. There are plenty of pills, so don't rush. Think it over before coming to take one. Kujin Ying began to distribute the pills. She felt a trace of warmth inside. This era was not theirs, but they could use their actions to show that the senior generation had their own courage and determination. They were willing to sacrifice everything for the martial heaven continent. This was a kind of pride. Old man. Do you want one? Asked Kujinying. No. Leave it to someone else. I believe that I can break through with my own power. The old man spoke confidently. The years that his cultivation base had been stuck at the life star realm benefited him now. As the world changed, he ended up being more blessed by the heavenly deos than the others of the senior generation. He wanted to use his own power to reach the fourth step. That determined light moved Kujinying. This old man with a temper that irritated her so badly had perhaps attracted her precisely due to this aspect of him. Let's go into seclusion for our breakthroughs. The old man waved his hand, and everyone slowly scattered. Hundreds of flying boats shook the sky as they whistled through the air. They were packed with the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The lead boat belonged to the Dragonblood Legion. All the Dragonblood warriors were high-spirited and filled with excitement. What are you so excited about? You look like you're going to a fight. Long Chen looked at them curiously. They were rubbing their fists in anticipation. One of the squad leaders said, Boss, Kuo Ran told us that we have to work hard to capture Feng Fei for you. Boss Kuo Ran, what are you pinching me for? Kuo Ran, if I don't give you a proper massage this time, it seems that you won't learn just who your boss is. Long Chen clenched his teeth furiously. This fellow's head had definitely been damaged. Even if you had to con someone, who would con them like this? Men Chi and the others were all on the boat, looking oddly at him. Boss, this is just to boost morale. I was wrong. I wouldn't dare. Ah, save me. The sound of a pig being slaughtered began to come from the Dragonblood Legion's flying boat. 
causing the disciples on the other flying boats to stare at each other oddly. Gu Yang and the others' laughter followed. You deserve it. You start misbehaving as soon as you forget your last beating, laughed Tang Wan'er, turning a blind eye to Guo Ran's plight. Long Chen, we've arrived, said Men Chi suddenly. Chapter 2428 The Arrogant Mo Nian Translator Born to be heavens, there's so many people. When they arrived, they saw a veritable ocean of people. Everyone's hearts thumped. The number of people present was truly monstrous. Up ahead was the entrance to the divine families. The experts of all the various powers had long since arrived. Originally, Long Chen had thought that the Martial Heaven Alliance would have brought the most people. But upon arriving, he saw that it wasn't the case. The Martial Heaven Alliance had had over a million elite disciples. But while attacking the Nether Passage realm, half of them had failed. These remaining 800,000 disciples were the full power of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The numbers advantage that they had assumed they would possess was not so obvious any longer. An initial estimate of the experts present was around 5 million. Long Chen and the others were stunned. Those experts saw Long Chen's group arriving. Some people amongst the crowd beckoned toward him, creating a path for him. The ones greeting him were those from the Bidang family, the Nangong family, the elusive music Immortal Palace, and the Xuan Beasts. Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Zi Yan were leading their respective groups. They had long since arrived and had helped occupy space for Long Chen. It's been a long time. Your radiance is as blinding as ever. Here, let us have a pure hug for each of you. Long Chen walked off the flying boat, laughing as he greeted them. Regretfully, the three of them ignored him, brushing past him and instead warmly greeting Men Chi and the others. Boss, while your cultivation base grew during this time, your pickup arts have clearly regressed, snickered Guo Ran. Brother Long, it's been a long time. Suddenly, a man walked out of the crowd. The first thing noticeable about him was the giant Dai behind him. Hu Feng this person was the heir to the gambling heavenly Dao. Hu Feng. It almost felt like he had vanished during this time. It had been a long time since there was any news of him. At this time, Hu Feng didn't even appear to be a cultivator. He seemed much more like a refined scholar. It really has been a while. I see that you've profited quite a bit recently. I wonder if you can guide this little brother to profit as well. Long Chen smiled. He had never sensed any hostility from Hu Feng. Brother Long is joking. I'll probably be the one following you this time in the Starfield Divine World. I'll be hoping for your guidance, said Hu Feng humbly. Oh, do you know more about the Starfield Divine World? Asked Long Chen curiously. Hu Feng shook his head. I am not clear about the Starfield Divine World. However, I did some divination, and I know that a tribulation is coming for me, one that will decide my life or death. I have found that if I have a certain person's help, I will be able to benefit immensely from this tribulation, but I was unable to find any clues about who that person is. But after pondering over it, I believe that Brother Long is the one most likely to be able to help me during my time of crisis. You know divination? Brother, can you help me tell when I will become a famous figure? Asked Guo Ran excitedly. Brother Guo is joking. I can only gamble against the heavenly deos myself. This divination is limited to myself. Furthermore, Brother Guo, you have created an unprecedented cultivation path with your armor. You've long since become a famous figure. Ha ha ha. Although I know that you're just being polite. I don't know why but it really feels good. Guo Ran gave him a thumbs up. Brother Hu, what is there to say? We naturally should help each other out in the Starfield Divine World. If the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples are in trouble, I trust that you won't just stand to the side and watch. Right, said Long Chen. Of course not. Hu Feng nodded. Who would have thought that the world's number one alliance would have so few people? It seems that quite a few lives were lost on the Nether Passage path. Just as they were conversing, a sinister voice rang out above the chatter of the crowd. Things fell silent. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples' expressions sank. This was a clear provocation. They looked over to find that the voice came from the side of the corrupt path. The corrupt path's experts opened a path, revealing two people. One of them was the corrupt path's number one heavenly genius, Tian Zizi. Beside him was another person, 
but that person was covered in a black cloak that concealed his face. There was no aura coming from him. Without looking at him, it was impossible to sense his existence. Black Chi whirled around Tian Zizi as if he was a god of death. The death Chi within him was incredibly powerful. He had reached the third step of Nether Passage, and his death energy was extremely dense. It also contained a corrosive aura. Just looking at him made people feel like they were being invaded by death energy, as if they were rapidly aging. Tian Zizi had grown far stronger during this time. That wasn't just his cultivation base but something else. His voice was full of arrogance. However, Long Chen wasn't even looking at him. His gaze was on the person beside him. That person gave him an extremely dangerous feeling. That feeling was a bit familiar. Long Chen suddenly realized what was so familiar about it. You're that person on top of the lotus throne in the corrupt god cemetery. When he had charged into the corrupt god cemetery while chasing Tian Zizi, he had been drawn into the depths of the cemetery by the corrupt emperor. The corrupt emperor had only had a wisp of his remnant soul remaining and had been unable to kill Long Chen. He had tried to use the mechanisms of the cemetery to kill Long Chen. There had been a black lotus thrown between the 16 coffins. Long Chen had tried to attack the person sitting there, but he had triggered a formation and almost died. At that time, he had only seen his back, but the instant that he had attacked, a trace of this person's aura had leaked out. Although it had just been a trace, the nine-star hegemon body art had memorized it. Despite the fact that this man wasn't releasing any aura now, Long Chen could still guess his identity. However, the man didn't move or reply. It was as if he hadn't heard Long Chen. Long Chen, your death is at hand. The star field divine world will be your burial ground. Tian Zizi laughed arrogantly. This fellow's a bother. Boss, how about we just kill him now? As long as you give the order, I'll immediately bury him, said Guo Ran. Tian Zizi was truly arrogant. The dragon blood warriors were bristling. If Long Chen gave the order, they would immediately attack. The killing intent of the dragon blood legion filled the air, shocking the other experts. The atmosphere instantly grew tense. Ten years I wandered with my bow, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Suddenly, a voice rang out from a great distance, cutting through the tense atmosphere. Everyone's attention was drawn over. Mo Nian appeared, the hood of a cloak covering his face above his nose. A faint smile of contempt was the only thing revealed. Mo Nian was standing at the front of a flying boat, and he had a multicolored bow on his back. It went without saying that this arrival was quite flashy. He slowly took off his hood, revealing his face, overlooking the experts. He laughed. Rookies, tremble in fear. I am no longer the old Mo Nian. My friends, unleash your cheers. I will be your strongest support. As for my enemies, unleash your cries, because I will be your nightmare. You can spend your final moments living in terror. Has Mo Nian gone crazy? Is he not afraid of a beating? Guo Ran looked at Mo Nian in disbelief. Mo Nian's aura clearly showed that he had just entered the Nether Passage realm. His life and death energy was still fluctuating. He had yet to even balance it, meaning that his tribulation had just finished. Someone who had just advanced to Nether Passage was acting this arrogant? No. He wouldn't be Mo Nian if he wasn't arrogant in his current state, said Long Chen with a smirk. The current Mo Nian truly looked like he needed a beating, but his realm was simply bait. Cultivation base wasn't the only indicator of power. Mo Nian was truly evil. He was intentionally releasing the aura of his cultivation base, acting like a pig to eat the tiger. Di Fang, where are you? Your daddy Mo is here to settle our debts. Mo Nian swaggered off the flying boat shouting at the distant experts of the ancient family alliance chapter 2429 mysterious man translator born to be mo nian's arrogant challenge made defung sneer he no longer viewed mo nian as a real opponent he didn't even care about him in his heart his only real opponent was feng fei he was about to say a few mocking words to mo nian about learning his place when mo nian suddenly pointed to tian zizi little fellow you dare to cause trouble for my brother? Have you grown tired of living? Do you not know that Long Chen is under my protection? If you anger me, I'll crush you in an instant. 
Do you want to test me? Mo Nian's arrogance shocked everyone. Just what gave him this confidence to challenge Di Feng and then say that he could crush Tian Zizi? If you want to die, I don't mind helping you out. Tian Zizi was enraged by this provocation from someone who had just entered the Nether Passage realm. Tian Zizi already had a belly full of anger due to being defeated by Long Chen and was looking for a way to wipe out that humiliation. During this time, he had been taught by the corrupt emperor and the heroic spirits of the past peak experts of the corrupt path. It could be said that he was now a completely different person. With his power having grown explosively, he was confident in being able to kill Long Chen. So he hadn't been able to hold himself back from taunting him. It was to anger Long Chen, as well as to announce to everyone that he wanted revenge. Mo Nian suddenly laughed. You'll help me out? Ha ha ha. Excellent. I have never encountered a real opponent in my years of domination. I have started to grow tired of this life. This world is full of bitterness and vexation. Come. I've lived enough. Come kill me. Long Chen smirked. Mo Nian's ego had grown. Only a sovereign was qualified to say something. Come out and face your death then Tian Zizi stepped forward. But the silent cloaked man beside him suddenly grabbed his arm. You aren't a match for him. This mysterious man's voice was only audible to him. Tian Zizi was filled with disbelief. You're saying that I can't beat him. You've misjudged him. You are a divine son. But he is also one. The divine seal in his body is over ten times denser than yours. But, but that's impossible. Didn't you say that my divine seal can be considered outstanding amongst divine sons? How could his divine energy be so much greater? Demanded Tian Zizi. His divine seal is very strange. According to reason, this level of divine energy isn't something that he should be able to control. However, he is. Perhaps only he knows the secret of why. Due to both of you possessing divine seals, he will absolutely counter you. You don't have any chance of beating him. Then, Tian Zizi clenched his fist and ground his teeth. He had been looking for a chance to wipe out his disgrace now that his power had grown. But instead he encountered someone who was a perfect counter for him. That feeling made him want to cough up blood. Don't worry. I will kill Mo Nian. You just have to handle Long Chen. Said the mysterious man indifferently. Hey. What are you two whispering? If you're afraid. I don't mind going two against one. One sheep. Two sheep. It's all the same to me. Said Mo Nian loudly. Tian Zizi coldly said. Brat. I'll let you be arrogant for now. Once we enter the Starfield Divine World, I will kill you and all the Righteous Path's disciples. Suddenly, an arrow blasted toward Tian Zizi like a bolt of lightning. It came without any warning. Tian Zizi snorted and raised his hand, catching the arrow. But in that instant, the runes on the arrow lit up, and a ferocious aura erupted. Tian Zizi's expression changed. The arrow exploded. Black Chi covered Tian Zizi, having protected him. However, the hand that he had caught the arrow with was a bloody pulp now, making people gasp. They turned toward the dragon blood legion just in time to see Guo Ran slowly lowering his arm. There was an arm protector with four cylinders attached to it. That attack had come from him. Guo Ran sneered. Since we're all enemies, why wait to enter the Starfield Divine World? We can settle things right now. The army of the Martial Heaven Alliance can have a fight to the death with your corrupt path right here and now. Anyone who doesn't want to get impacted should leave. Killing intent suddenly raged through the air. This was a killing intent that terrified the surrounding experts. When the Dragonblood warriors unsheathed their swords, their killing intent made it feel like they were seeing a sea of blood. The Martial Heaven Alliance's experts followed suit, taking out their weapons. The other experts retreated, not wanting to get caught in between. If they died to some shockwaves from this battle, it would be a far too meaningless death. The most shocking thing was how unified the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance were. They had never possessed such cohesiveness. Under Long Chen's lead, the righteous path sleeping lions have finally awoken. Praised Nangong Zuiyu upon seeing the sharp light in the eyes of the righteous disciples. The name of the number one alliance wasn't for nothing. When the alliance was first formed, they dominated the continent. But after the crisis, the will of the people scattered, and no expert that could subdue everyone else appeared, resulting in the righteous path becoming scattered sand. Now though, 
with the dark era at hand, they have no choice but to work together to unleash their full potential. Also, they have an outstanding figure like Long Chen to lead them. The number one alliance of this world has finally regained its own nature. Bidang Rushuang nodded along with Nangong Zuayu. This time, the Nangong and Bidang families had brought a hundred thousand disciples each, while the Dongfang family and the Zeman family had brought one hundred and twenty thousand disciples each. The four everlasting families had brought over four hundred thousand people altogether. They could be considered a terrifying force. Meanwhile, the ancient races had only sent 200,000 disciples. The ancient races were the ones in the most awkward position. They had originally relied on the Xuan beasts and became enemies with Long Chen. Now that the Xuan beasts had accepted the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race as their leader, the ancient races could be considered to still belong to the Xuan beasts in title. But the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race never gave them a second glance. The other Xuan beasts also looked down on them, viewing them as opportunists who fled at danger and only came for benefits. As for the human race, the ancient races had long since burned any goodwill with them. Even the corrupt path and the ancient family alliance didn't care about them. There were no outstanding disciples amongst the ancient races any longer. 200,000 pieces of cannon fodder were not viewed as important. Therefore, the ancient races no longer had any value and could only continue being humiliated as they stayed beneath the Xuan beasts. The Xuan beasts had sent 300,000 experts. Although it looked to only be a 100,000 more, they were true elites amongst elites. Previously, Kei Yuzhu had asked Long Chen about this. The Xuan beasts had possessed 550,000 people qualified to enter the Starfield Divine World, but Long Chen had proposed sending only 300,000. The focus was on quality, not quantity. Furthermore, the focus was on those with better brains. Fools would only slow the others down. Because of a single person's foolishness, a whole pile of people could be dragged down. The ancient family alliance had sent 400,000 disciples which could be considered astounding. But the inexplicable thing was that the corrupt path had sent over 600,000 disciples. Their numbers were only second to the righteous path. The most frightening thing about the corrupt path was that their people all had a level of faith that made them fearless in battle. Now, they also had numbers. With Long Chen and Tian Zizi going against each other, the righteous and corrupt paths were poised to start a battle right here and now. Everyone's hearts shook but they were also feeling anticipation for this battle. It would be a world-shaking battle that they would witness. Foolish brats, do you really think that the corrupt path is afraid of you? The mysterious man beside Tian Zizi finally spoke up. He slowly walked forward. Since you want to die, you can die right now. This man was clearly the true leader of the corrupt path now. Tian Zizi was just an accompanying character. So just who was this person? Had he really come from the corrupt god cemetery like Long Chen had said? Mo Nian, when the battle starts, you and I have to beat that fellow immediately. Don't hold back in the slightest. We have to eliminate him as fast as possible. Transmitted Long Chen. No need? I can handle him myself. Said Mo Nian confidently. Don't be stupid. If my guess is correct, he should be a sovereign sprout that the corrupt path has been nourishing for tens of thousands of years. His power is definitely no less than Feng Fei's. What? Chapter 2430 Turn the Tables Translator Born to be the knowledge of existences known as Sovereign Sprouts had spread throughout the continent thanks to Feng Fei's descent. A Sovereign Sprout was someone with a chance of becoming a Sovereign. Even if they didn't become a Sovereign, as long as they didn't die, they would definitely reach the realm of Emperors. Mo Nian had inherited a Nithurgod's mortal husk and absorbed the energy within the divine pool. All the experience that Hong Yeo Yang had before becoming a god and all his peak techniques were in Mo Nian's possession. It could be said that the current Mo Nian possessed a terrifying power. However, he couldn't instantly master all those techniques. He needed to gradually grow accustomed to them before being able to unleash his full potential. Hearing that this mysterious man could be a sovereign sprout. Mo Nian was startled, but he also had an urge to fight. He had the combat experience of a Nithurgut, which was enough for him to be arrogant. Long Chen, leave him to me. I want to test him myself. 
Mo Nian's eyes blazed with a desire for combat. He never had the justification to fight Feng Fei, so he had never had a chance to fight someone on that level. But this mysterious man was from the corrupt path. He didn't need an excuse to fight him. Mo Nian knew Long Chen's intent was to avoid extra casualties by immediately eliminating this man as a threat, but he wanted to fight him by himself. Long Chen was hesitant. Once they entered the Starfield Divine World, if this fellow were to hunt down the righteous disciples, then other than he and Mo Nian, no one would be able to stop him. He hoped to eliminate him now to remove this threat, but since Mo Nian wanted to test his power, he was caught in an awkward position. Just at this moment, a beautiful carriage broke through the void and appeared in front of everyone. It's Feng Fei this carriage was well known to be Feng Fei's carriage. How regretful in the distance. A muscular horned man spat on the ground irritably. This person was the prince of the six-horned sea serpent race who had fought against Long Chen over the largest Qi flow stream during the Qi flow eruption. Long Chen had beaten him and made him flee. When the sea demon race had later tried to cause trouble for him. Long Chen had poisoned the martial heaven sea ring, forcing the sea demon race to lower their heads to him. At that time, he had even made conditions for their surrender, ordering them to break Dong Fang Yuyang's legs. The sea demon race really had followed his orders and given a beating to Dong Fang Yuyang, which had raised quite a fuss at the time. However, after that matter, the sea demon race had fallen silent. They only resurfaced now that the Starfield Divine World was opening. Not only were they participating, but they also had 1,500,000 experts. They were the ones who had brought the most people. The sea demons found beneath the sea were more numerous than the life forms on the continent. This time, they had brought out all their elites. Every one of them could be considered a true expert. Due to not having a good relationship with the races on the land, they were standing in their own region at one of the edges. When the prince saw Long Chen and the corrupt path about to start fighting, he got excited. But now that Feng Fei had come, this battle would definitely be stopped. It wasn't just the sea demon race that was disappointed by this. The ancient family alliance's people were the same, especially Di Feng. Feng Fei's carriage was surrounded by her bodyguards and attendants. They opened the door, and the beautiful and icy Feng Fei walked out. She looked over at the crowd. Upon spotting Long Chen, her eyes brightened ever so slightly. She nodded toward him. It seems your recovery went well. You even have the energy to stir up trouble. Very good. Very good. Her voice was emotionless. The two very goods that she said made some people wonder what she meant. Last time, Long Chen and Feng Fei had fought with their spiritual strength, resulting in both sides being injured. Therefore, Long Chen's reputation had risen throughout the entire continent. After being injured, Feng Fei had said that they would have another competition once they both recovered. It was unknown whether Feng Fei's words indicated that they might fight right now. Where did you see me stirring up trouble? You just give verdicts without knowing what happened? Calling you stupid is really not wrong, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen hated Feng Fei's arrogance. It was as if she thought that whatever she said was right and others couldn't argue. As soon as she arrived, she labeled him a troublemaker. Long Chen, you really are brazen, shouted one of the attendants furiously. Fuck, can you not change your phrases? I feel my ears rotting from hearing the same thing over and over and over again. Did your teacher never teach you any other words? Long Chen looked at that bodyguard. It seemed that he had a rather special status amongst the bodyguards, as he was always the one to speak. Every time he did speak, he never said anything new. If it weren't for the distance between them, Long Chen would definitely slap him. You, that bodyguard was actually the strongest amongst Feng Fei's bodyguards, and he was even further enraged. Feng Fei raised a hand, cutting him off. Looking at Long Chen, she said, words are meaningless. We will have a battle sooner or later. Hopefully. You can find some miraculous encounters inside the Starfield Divine World, or it would be too boring. Long Chen shook his head, not even feeling an urge to speak to this woman. Feng Fei, why are you targeting my brother so much? Have you fallen for him? Asked Mo Nian suddenly, looking from Feng Fei to Long Chen with a sudden realization. Long Chen twitched with a desire to slap Mo Nian. This fellow really was cut from the same cloth as Guo Ran. 
He conned him just the same. Men Chi and the others were standing right there. Bastard. Shut up. You dare to blaspheme senior Feng Fei someone like you should be tossed into the tongue-ripping hell. Feng Fei turned pale from rage. She clenched her fists. Never having been insulted like this in her life. She was so enraged that she couldn't speak. But her attendants took her place. As if not seeing Feng Fei's killing intent or Long Chen's furious gaze. Mo Nian laughed. Don't be embarrassed. It's far too normal for men to have multiple wives in this day and age. Who doesn't want to go around hugging girls left and right noveloon.com suddenly. A gong appeared and struck Mo Nian in the back of his head. The clanging sound made everyone jump. Mo Nian had been in the midst of rattling when that gong struck him. His head was ringing. He furiously demanded. Who hit me however? Mo Nian instantly deflated upon seeing who had hit him. He awkwardly said. Zongying. What's wrong? What's wrong? You also want to be like a certain womanizer? Having multiple wives is normal. So you're not normal? You want to go around hugging girls left and right? Speak. Who are you planning on hugging? What? Am I not enough for you? Tell me who you're planning on hugging. Lu Zongying began banging the gong on Mo Nian's head. Dumbfounding people. As Mo Nian protected his head, he just allowed her to hit him. I was talking about Long Chen. You were talking about him. But are you saying that you never thought about it yourself? You're pretty envious. Ha? Huh? You're jealous of him. The sight of Mo Nian being scolded by a woman, who had clearly just entered the Nether Passage realm and had a weak aura, was startling and funny to the various experts present. You deserve it. Long Chen clapped. Retribution had finally come. Who had asked Mo Nian to con him? Now. He ended up having conned himself. Feng Fei and the others also looked at Mo Nian oddly, not knowing how to react to this. Dear wife, there's so many people here. Give me some face. If you want to hit me, wait until we're home and there's no one around, implored Mo Nian. HMPH. Lu Zongying snorted and turned away, temporarily letting Mo Nian off. Upon seeing Long Chen's satisfied smile, Lu Zongying walked over to Tang Wan Er. She handed the deformed gong to her. You can't indulge men. If you can get past things, then get past them. If you can't, turn the tables on them. Long Chen's expression instantly darkened. What was that supposed to mean? Tang Wan Er smiled and received the broken gong, even thanking her. After this, Mo Nain hid in the crowd, no longer as arrogant as before. Feng Fei took a deep breath and calmed herself. The time has come. Everyone, follow me. Feng Fei took out a pitch black object. Before they could see what it was, she made a cut with it through the air. A world piercing divine stone. The divine families actually have an existence from legends. Xia Chen cried out in shock. A giant crack appeared in the void. Feng Fei walked in first, followed by everyone else. Once they entered, they found themselves in a world completely different from the martial heaven continent. Even the laws present were subtly different. Everything was dark and dusky. It was like they were passing through a channel of space time. They felt their bodies twisting. Those with weaker cultivation bases were revealed. Lu Zongying was pale, and Mo Nian reached out to support her, lessening the pressure on her. Suddenly, the channel vanished and they appeared atop a giant platform. When they looked around, countless startled cries rang out. Chapter 2431 Ghost Ship Translator Born to be everyone found that they had appeared on a giant island floating in the void. There were countless stars around them. Where is this place? It felt like they had been transported into the boundless cosmos. Furthermore, there were already millions of experts present. They outnumbered the total experts of the martial heaven continent. Those experts were wearing robes of the divine families. Amongst them, some waved to Long Chen. Long Chen recognized them to be the warriors from the Eighth Legion. Long Chen waved back, but the warriors of the Eighth Legion were drowned out by the countless disciples of the divine families that were present. There was a veritable tide of them. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples whispered amongst themselves. Everyone, don't panic. This is the entrance to the Starfield Divine World. An ancient voice rang out. Everyone looked over to see two towering stone pillars. The space between them was in constant flux and it was impossible to see past them. In front of this strange gateway was a white-haired elder, 
Senior Pildoyan Long Chen was startled. This elder was actually the Pildoyan from the Divine Pill Division. He quickly realized the reason that it wasn't someone from the four divine families was due to the hostile relations between them. They needed an unbiased party for this to avoid any suspicions of favoritism. The Pildoyan's position within the divine families was extremely high, but he did not belong to any of the four families. So he was the one most suited to this task. Let me make the introductions. This senior is the Pildoyan of the divine families. His status is equivalent to the leaders of the four divine families. Don't miss anything he says, because it could determine whether you live or die. A heaven elder gave an introduction to those who didn't know the Pil Doyen. Long Chen hadn't seen this elder before, so he didn't know what family he came from. He was rather cold, and everyone's whispering fell silent. Seeing that no one was talking or privately speaking spiritually, the elder nodded. He bowed toward the Pil Doyen and indicated that he could continue. The Pil Doyen smiled and stepped forward. The Starfield Divine World can be considered the path that connects the Martial Heaven Continent and the Divine World. It is also a place that people often claim to be the pathway to immortality or the staircase to godhood. A ruckus exploded. Even Long Chen was shocked. The pathway to immortality. The staircase to godhood? Didn't this mean that one could become a god or an immortal here? Silence, shouted the elder. His voice was like thunder piercing people's ears. The Pil Doyen waved his hand. It's fine. Everyone will react like this when they hear such a thing. You don't need to be so strict. You're going to scare them. If there are any questions, please go ahead and ask. Seeing no one ask even after the Pil Doyen permitted questions, Long Chen finally opened his mouth. Senior Pil Doyen, this little one is curious. The era of gods and immortals has passed. Isn't it impossible for anyone from the martial heaven continent to become a god or immortal in this era? How does that relate to the pathway to immortality and the staircase to godhood? The Pil Doyen laughed. This is a good question. Hopefully everyone can relax slightly. If no one asked anything, it would have been awkward for me. In my old age. I don't know what things I should talk about and what I shouldn't. If I just prattled on and repeated the same thing a dozen times, it would be embarrassing the Pil Doyen's amicable air made everyone feel better. The reason no one had dared to ask anything was because of his high status. He was an existence equivalent to the four leaders of the divine families. They were afraid of asking the wrong question and offending him. Long Chen's question made them sigh in relief. Long Chen was really the one with the biggest guts on the Martial Heaven continent. They didn't know that Long Chen had already had an interaction with the Pil Doyen. His competition with Yi Qian was nothing honorable to the Divine Families. So while the Pil Doyen was fine with it, the Divine Families had locked down that information, making it forbidden to spread. So while people knew of Long Chen's competition with Feng Fei, they didn't know about his Pil battle with Yi Qian. The Pil Doyen said, Long Chen's question is something I'm sure many people are also wondering about. From historical records, everyone knows that since the Battle of the Immortal Era, the cultivation path has been severed. Gods and immortals still exist, but there are no longer cases of people being able to reach that realm. There are still inheritances of gods present, but they were left behind from that time. Any divine decrees that come are sent from an unknown world. The world of the gods isn't something that we know about. This starfield divine world was the only path for the martial heaven continent's experts to become a god or immortal before the battle of the immortal era. But after that battle, the starfield divine world was broken. It is now ruined, and what is left are its remains. So using this place to become a god or immortal isn't very likely. It was just some ruined wreckage? Hearing that, people were disappointed. So the stories of that time were not just myths. People really had been able to become gods or immortals, enjoying the same lifespan as the very world. The Pil Doyen continued. However, you don't need to feel discouraged. Although the Starfield Divine World has crumbled, there are still relics left behind by countless experts. If you can obtain them, they can change your entire life. The Starfield Divine World was what connected the Martial Heaven Continent to the Divine World. Before being broken, countless treasures and inheritances were left behind. After being broken, even sovereigns and emperors have gone through it and left behind their own marks on it. 
If you are lucky enough, you could obtain one of their inheritances as well. After hearing that, people's blood ignited once more. Sovereigns were supreme existences. Even the slightest inheritance from them would be enough to turn someone into a peerless genius. During Long Chen's tribulation, everyone was stunned by Sovereign Moli's combat prowess. That was their first time seeing a Sovereign fight. Although they had ended up injuring each other in the end, and the Sovereign had dissipated, allowing Long Chen to pass, who could say that Sovereign Moli hadn't appeared incredibly domineering? Even doing his best, Long Chen hadn't been able to block him. He had barely managed to pass. Sovereign Moli had called Long Chen brother, so letting him pass was within reason. Even blind people could guess that Long Chen's passing wasn't based on actual power. Within his generation, Long Chen was undefeated, but he hadn't even been able to retaliate against a sovereign who had been in the same realm as him. At that time, Sovereign Moli hadn't even unleashed any shocking techniques but had still completely suppressed Long Chen. It could be seen just how terrifying sovereigns were. On the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen could be considered unrivaled, but he still wasn't a match for a sovereign. How could they not be excited that they could encounter the inheritance of a sovereign? Senior Pildoyan, this disciple has a question. Please excuse my rudeness. Nangong Zuayu suddenly spoke, bowing toward the Pildoyan. You're too courteous. Please ask. As long as I know the answer and can speak of it, I will answer, said the Pildoyan. I have heard that the Starfield Divine World is not just the path that connected the Martial Heaven Continent with the Divine World, but is also one of the paths of reincarnation of the Heavenly Deos. I have heard that you can encounter a ghost ship within it. May I know if this is simply a rumor or a fact? Asked Nangong Zuayu. Many disciples had heard of a ghost ship as well, and their hearts pounded. There was a legend that within this world there was a kind of extremely bizarre existence. Something that floated through the realm of yin and yang, past and future. A ghost ship was also called a cursed ship or a ship of calamity. Anyone who had seen one was struck by misfortune. Worst of all, they couldn't even mention it, or those who heard of it would also be cursed. It was an existence found only in legend. There were no actual records of it recorded. In the current era, they were considered stories people had dreamed up. They were stories used to scare children, not real things. However, as a peerless heavenly genius of the ancient era, the top expert of an everlasting family, Nangong Zuaya would not bring up nonsense, especially not here. For her to mention such a thing, she had to know something. The Pildoyan smiled and nodded. As expected of an everlasting family, you even know of the ghost ship. I'll explain a bit about the ghost ship. The stories about it are just stories, but the ghost ship truly exists. Not just that, but there was someone from the Martial Heaven continent who once forcibly stopped such a boat. What? Chapter 2432 Legend of a Sovereign Translator Born to be How is that possible? Ghost ships exist between reality and fantasy. They manifest the very orbit of the cosmos as they shuttle between past and future. Stopping a ghost ship would be equivalent to stopping the movements of the very cosmos, let alone a human, not even a god could do that. Suddenly, the mysterious expert from the corrupt god cemetery opened his mouth. He did not believe the Pildoyan. His words surprised people. It seemed that he had an even greater understanding of the ghost ships. Just who was he? The Pildoyan looked at him and smiled faintly. Having experienced reincarnation, what it means to swim between life and death, and training within the crack between the worlds of yin and yang. I am sure you are aware that there is a kind of power separate from life and death. That power is the Tao of your existence. This world has always had a kind of person that transcends all bindings to exist outside the laws. The mysterious man shuddered as if everything about him had been seen through by the pill doyen. The other experts were even more shocked. Just who was this mysterious man? He was an existence that swam between life and death. Something that existed between yin and yang? What did that mean? Mo Nian and Long Chen exchanged a glance. No wonder they had felt this person to be strange. It felt like they had sensed his aura from somewhere. Now, they realized that this aura was Nether Chi. No one else could remember this aura because those memories were wiped out upon returning to the Netherworld. 
Even Meng Chi and the others who had retained their memories when they had first come out had gradually lost them as time passed. Only Long Chen and Mo Nian still recalled that aura, and that was why they were shocked. Then may I ask who that person was? Asked the mysterious man. The Pil Doyen worshipfully said. He was Sovereign Yun Shang Sovereign Yun Shang that name shook the crowd. No wonder. It felt like the only one capable of stopping a ghost ship was Sovereign Yun Shang. Long Chen had been prepared for such an answer. The only one who possessed such power was probably a sovereign. But he hadn't expected it to be Sovereign Yun Shang. In the distance, a white-robed man with a bamboo hat amongst the crowd quivered ever so slightly. His white robes were untouched by a single speck of dust. He gave off a feeling of transcendence. But curiously, despite clearly standing out amongst the crowd, no one seemed to sense him. Senior, can you explain what a ghost ship is exactly asked Bidang Rushuang, bowing respectfully as she did so. The Pil Doyen shook his head. This question is difficult. Ghost ships are very mysterious. It is said that they bring misfortune and disasters. Back in the day, Sovereign Yun Chang managed to stop a ghost ship, but he did not mention any of the secrets of the ghost ships. He even warned his descendants to get out of the way of any ghost ships that they encountered in the future, but he did not explain further. There is only one thing that can be certain. The ghost ships have their own orbits, and the Starfield Divine World just happens to be a node of those trajectories. As for how many nodes there are or where the ghost ships come from, no one knows. The saying that they pass through the past and future is just a guess. There are some historical records of ghost ships appearing. Some people said that they saw immortals singing. Some saw gods transmitting the Tao. Some saw ghosts snarling. And some saw demons howling. Other than Sovereign Yun Shang, some people have set foot on a ghost ship, but they never returned alive. As for those who saw a ghost ship firsthand, of those who got closer to hear the sound of the Tao, a terrible calamity always befell them and they died miserably. Even if they fled the Martial Heaven continent, they couldn't escape that calamity. Ah, speaking of which, I recall that there was an expert from the Heavenly Sea sect who encountered a ghost ship. Did his descendant come today? A righteous disciple stepped forward from within the crowd, sighing. This disciple is from the Heavenly Sea sect. My ancestor truly saw a ghost ship. Upon returning to the sect, he was tormented by nightmares of devils and demons consuming his body. Even when he closed his eyes, he saw bizarre sights that no one else could see. Three months later, he died suddenly. On the eve before his death, he warned his descendants to immediately flee upon seeing a ghost ship. After his death, the sect encountered three separate tribulations and was almost destroyed. It only began to slowly recover a thousand years ago. This matter was always considered a secret of the sect that only a few core members were informed of. Because, the disciple suddenly shut his mouth. The Pil Doyen was the one who continued for him. Because they are afraid of the curse continuing. Correct? In truth, this is no curse. This is karma. The karma has passed now. So there is no need to be so fearful. However, everyone should take note to flee upon seeing a ghost ship. Something filled with so many unknowns is very frightening. Of course, if you feel like you can compare yourself to a sovereign, you can pretend that I never said anything. Hearing all this, the experts present felt a chill. It was unknown how many peerless geniuses throughout history had been attracted to the stories of ghost ships and been drawn over. But Sovereign Yun Chang was the only one who had survived. The rest had all died. Although those that were qualified to come here were all elites amongst elites, which genius would dare to claim to be on par with a sovereign? Even Long Chen had been crushed by a sovereign during his tribulation. The idea of a ghost ship had now become a nightmare in their hearts, so they definitely wouldn't touch one. Why are you two looking at each other like that? Are you intending to do something to a ghost ship? Lu Zongying suddenly turned to Long Chen and Mo Nian vigilantly. No. Of course not. Who would want to get something so terrifying said Mo Nian. Long Chen's face darkened. This idiot had just expressed what they were thinking. You idiot. You've gone mad. Lu Zongying viciously pinched Mo Nian. He and Long Chen really were planning on getting a ghost ship for themselves. On the other hand, Meng Chi and the others were rather calm. They understood Long Chen far too well. No one could stop him from doing what he wanted. 
but they weren't too worried about that. Ghost ships weren't something that someone could run into just because they wanted to. The Pildoyan laughed. It seems that everyone is rather shy, so I'll do my best to explain. Some powers with long inheritances have some understanding of the Starfield Divine World, but most people don't. When you enter, you will find that it is not exactly its own world. If you wish, you may consider it a river of stars. This river of stars was broken, leaving astral fragments everywhere. Some of those fragments have become their own worlds, with the smaller fragments being minor worlds, while some of the large fragments are even bigger than the Martial Heaven continent. Many of the laws in those worlds are different from the continent. Other than that, some ancient life forms still exist within those fragments. Those life forms are not friendly. You may even encounter existences above the Nether Passage realm. Opportunities are important, but your lives are even more so. To desire to grow stronger to protect the continent is correct. But if you lose your life, everything will be meaningless. The Starfield Divine World still has some remnant pools of energy. That energy is very beneficial for those reaching for the fourth step. The source of energy within the Starfield Divine World is constantly changing. Whether or not you can find the best spot is up to your own luck and power. That's all I have to say. It will be up to yourselves if you can survive or increase your power inside. The elders behind the Pildoyen began to work. The two stone pillars started to rumble, with the spatial fluctuations growing even more intense. Senior Pildoyen, may I ask how long the time limit is to stay inside the Starfield Divine World? Asked a woman. This woman instantly drew everyone's attention, as she was Pill Valley's Pill Fairy. The Pill Fairy no longer looked the same as before. She was wearing a veil and hidden amongst the disciples of Pill Valley. Those disciples were also very low-key. How can her divine energy fluctuations be so terrifying? Mo Nyan only noticed her now, and he jumped in shock. He had absorbed a Nithurgod's power from before becoming a god. Although he hadn't digested it all, he could clearly sense that Tian Zizi, who was a divine son, had merely a fraction of the divine energy that he had. However, the Pill Fairy had much greater divine energy than he did. Mo Nian could clearly sense just how much vaster her divine energy was than his. Long Chen sighed inside. The Pill Fairy's aura was growing more and more different from the past. She could already be considered a manifestation of divine energy. Even her spiritual fluctuations were different. Looking into her eyes, he no longer saw a trace of her old kindness. Her eyes were icy with disdain and indifference. The Pildoyen clapped his forehead. I really have grown old. I forgot to mention something so important. You have ten days within the Starfield Divine World. Ten days. Everyone was startled. What were ten days possibly enough for? To get a quick view of the scenery? Chapter 2433 Flow of Time Translator Born to be there's no need to panic. The ten days I am referring to is the time that will pass on the Martial Heaven Continent. The flow of time within the Starfield Divine World is different from ours. If it hadn't been ruined, the time proportion would have been a thousand to one based on the ancient records. The flow of time is much faster inside of it. It can be considered just like when you use a transportation formation. The longest transportation formations of the Martial Heaven Continent can make it feel like several minutes have passed while you sit in it. But in reality, not that much time will have passed. Although the damage to the Starfield Divine World has altered the flow of time, 10 days on the Martial Heaven Continent will be like a year within the Starfield Divine World. That is the only reason we dare to let all of you inside. Otherwise, we wouldn't dare to send the continent's greatest forces inside at such a dangerous time, said the Pildoyen. This explanation made people relax. One year was a decent amount of time at least. 10 days wasn't enough to do anything. The various questions inside people's hearts had been answered. They were now itching to enter. Their worries about the sovereign seals breaking while they were inside were also settled. Only now did they realize that the divine families had taken that into consideration from the start. Furthermore, the seniors from the divine families would most likely be standing guard over the dangerous areas on the continent during this time. Once you enter the Starfield Divine World. It will be recorded by the laws inside. When time is up, you will be automatically transported outside. Of course, this only refers to those still alive. 
the dead will not be coming back. Prepare yourselves. Enter your optimal states. The star field divine world is in constant flux, so no one can predict where you will end up upon entering. If your luck isn't good, you might just fall into a spatial crack and be instantly devoured, said the Pildoyen gravely. What that dumbfounded quite a few people. This was all dependent on luck? If they really did end up right inside a spatial crack, that would be far too unlucky. No power would save them then. That is why it is said that luck is also a kind of power. Draw lots to decide who will enter first. 50,000 people can enter at a time, so the various powers will have to enter in batches. The heads of each power should come up to draw the lots, said the Pildoyen. Ling Shen, you should go for me, said Long Chen to Yi Ling Shen. He then turned to the warriors of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Everyone, form up into teams of 50,000. I will make arrangements in a bit. Don't worry about the spatial crack. The chances of that happening are very low. The karmic luck of 50,000 people will make it essentially an impossibility. The Pildoyan's final words really frightened people. They couldn't help being apprehensive about their own bad luck. But they were comforted to hear this. Big Brother Long Chen. What about the Xuan Beasts? Asked Cloud. Cloud was the current leader of the Xuan Beasts. Although she was powerful, she didn't have much experience in this regard. Go pick lots for now. I'll arrange things, said Long Chen. The Xuan beasts had been completely unified under the rule of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Furthermore, due to the myriad spirit diagram, they had been completely won over and no longer held any wariness toward Long Chen. When the lots were drawn, the order was the corrupt path, Pill Valley, the ancient family alliance, the divine families, the Xuan beasts, the sea demon race and then the other powers such as the Blood Kill Hall. Those other powers were not even allowed to pick. This ordering wasn't actually important. Entering first wasn't necessarily a good thing, and entering last wasn't necessarily a bad thing. No one grumbled about it. Long Chen, I'll wait for you inside the Starfield Divine World. I will personally cut off your head. The corrupt path walked past, with Tian Zizi making a throat-cutting gesture at Long Chen. Courting death. This insulting action enraged the Dragonblood warriors. Leave it be. A defeated general also dares to say such big words? Save your energy. You should prepare a will and make sure you can die in peace, said Long Chen lazily. You, Tian Zizi was not a match for Long Chen when it came to a battle of the tongues. He was half killed just like this. Let's go. Fighting with words here is meaningless. The mysterious man beside Tian Zizi spoke up. Tian Zizi immediately shut his mouth and walked in. The first batch of 50,000 corrupt experts vanished. Following that, the second batch of corrupt experts entered. They quickly passed through. Dragonblood warriors, split yourselves into teams of 500 and join the other groups, said Long Chen. Long Chen, won't splitting up your Dragonblood Legion be dangerous? asked Ji Lingxian. Surprised. Don't worry about it. The current Dragonblood Legion is no longer the old Dragonblood Legion. 500 people is the perfect amount. Once we enter the Starfield Divine World, we will use our own special communication method to quickly link up with each other. That's the best way to preserve everyone's safety, said Long Chen confidently. The current Dragonblood Legion was not only all at the third step of Nether Passage, but their equipment had also been remade by Guo Ran and Xia Chen. Their condition was perfect. Other than that, when Long Chen had infiltrated the Yun Yang world, he had saved experts from the Blue Star Continent. Luo Chuan and the others had given him their strongest techniques as thanks. During this time, the Dragonblood warriors had been training hard in mastering those techniques. With the Dragonblood body tempering art as their base, they were able to use all of those techniques. Now, every one of them had mastered dozens of amazing divine arts. Most importantly, those divine arts had never appeared on the Martial Heaven continent, so they could easily catch an enemy off guard. 500 people was a base unit within the Dragonblood Legion, and their killing power was definitely astounding. So Long Chen was confident in letting them split up. As long as they didn't encounter the likes of Tian Zizi or Di Fang, they were more than strong enough to protect themselves. Since everyone was being transported to different places, the chances of encountering each other were very low. 
The first thing to do upon entering was to think of a way to gather back together. That was the most important thing. The 800,000 disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance when added to the 300,000 disciples of the Xuan Beasts meant that they had a total of 22 groups. The Dragonblood Warriors were easily split up, and any groups that appeared rather weak were personally led by Gu Yang and the others. Meng Qi joined Cloud's group, while Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, and the others on that level split up. There was no way around it. They had no choice but to take risks. The Martial Heaven Alliance needed the Dragonblood Legion, but the Dragonblood Legion also needed the Martial Heaven Alliance. Once they were split up, Meng Qi looked at Long Chen worriedly. Are you coming with us? Long Chen shook his head. No, my luck has always been bad. I'll go by myself to avoid implicating anyone. Long Chen also wished to go with them, but he decided to go by himself in the end. That would be more beneficial for everyone. No one else was more confident than him in his bad luck. Wild, you go with big sister Wanur. Don't get lost, said Long Chen. Wild's body had grown even larger. He was like a monster in human form. His skin was covered in strange lines, and it felt like a beast was sleeping within his body. Once he erupted, he could destroy the world. Even the Dragonblood warriors no longer quite dared to get close to him, because his current aura was absolutely terrifying. Brother Long, I want to go with you. Despite growing more and more frightening, Wild's character had not changed. He was still the same simple, foolish oaf as back then. He had been apart from Long Chen for a long time, and after finally reuniting, they had to separate once more. His pure reaction was heartbreaking. We will end up together. Our first goal is to reunite within the Starfield Divine World. Big Sister Wanner needs your protection. Understood, said Long Chen. I understand. I'll protect Big Sister Wanner. Whoever dares to come, I'll smash them to death. Wild thumped his own chest, causing the air to vibrate. Some people in the distance jumped in shock. Wild had been within the original Devil Races world during this time to gather food. His body was constantly growing. Even Long Chen felt a frightening feeling coming from him. Of the top class experts of the Dragonblood Legion, Tang Wanner was slightly weaker, so he had Wild go with her. Everyone, the goal is to gather into one group as fast as possible upon entering. Understood? As for hidden treasures, they are secondary. Even if you obtain any treasures, you need the power to keep them, said Long Chen. Understood. Everyone replied in unison. Long Chen had no need to worry about them growing greedy for treasures. After all, this was the Starfield Divine World, a place filled with unimaginable dangers. They were all grateful that Long Chen would take the risk of splitting up the Dragonblood Legion to keep them safe. All right. Then it's almost our turn. Line up, Long Chen. We might end up in very different places with Cloud and the others. The divine families will be entering between us, said Meng Chi worriedly. Yes, I know, but there's nothing that we can do about it. You'll have to gather the Xuan beasts and then join the Martial Heaven Alliance. The divine families probably won't make things hard on you, but you can't discount all of them. There's no need to be courteous to them, warned Long Chen. Five million experts of the divine families were entering. Although he had offended the Yi family, they were just one of the four families. In this scenario, to vent that personal enmity with him upon the Xuan beasts and the Martial Heaven Alliance should be a very unlikely scenario. The Yi family wouldn't dare to publicly lower themselves to that extent. It's our turn. Let's go. Long Chen nodded goodbye to Meng Qi and Cloud. He and the rest of the Martial Heaven Alliance's warriors started walking toward the portal. Chapter 2434 and Gnome Life Forms Translator Born to be Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, and the others all led their groups through the portal one by one. Senior Pil Doyen, I wish to enter on my own. Is that possible? asked Long Chen. Of course, it's no trouble at all, and there's no need to wait to store up spatial energy. However, Entering on your own means less karmic luck. Something bad might be waiting for you on the other side, warned the Pil Doyen. Yes, I've thought it through. Long Chen nodded. He knew that even if he had other people supporting him with their karmic luck, something bad would still be waiting for him. As if understanding his misjivings, the Pil Doyen said, 
Then be careful. After the next batch, you can directly enter. With every batch of people, a brief pause was required for the spatial gate to store up energy. But one person entering didn't require that much energy. So Long Chen could directly enter. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists and bowed slightly toward the Pil Doyen. He exchanged a glance with Mo Nian behind him. He had discussed it with Mo Nian already. Mo Nian would stay behind until the last batch. Once half the Martial Heaven Alliance's warriors had entered, Long Chen stepped inside as well. As soon as he did, he felt a violent suction pull him in. The pull was so strong that he felt like his physical body was about to be torn apart. By entering on his own, the pressure was concentrated on him. Without others sharing the pressure, it was unknown just how many people would be able to survive this like him. He felt like he had been sucked into the eye of a hurricane. Space was twisting around him, pulling him through a channel. Suddenly, the force vanished. He found himself falling into an unknown world. The fluctuations of this world were extremely foreign. They were berserk and chaotic. He was falling so fast that he couldn't even stabilize. He smashed into the ground, leaving a giant hole. Eh? What's this? Long Chen realized that he had smashed into something specific. When he looked around, his hair stood on end. There was a giant spider beneath him. He had landed on its head. A peak 12th rank magical beast. Long Chen's heart thumped. This beast's aura was filled with decay and darkness. It was different from the magical beasts, demonic beasts, or even the nether beasts that he knew. But the feeling it gave off was definitely terrifying. Culigula. Suddenly, strange shouts rang out. Long Chen's divine sense swept out, only to find that there was a group of strange life forms around him. They looked similar to humans, but they had bone spurs growing out of their backs. They had no hair. Their upper bodies had no flesh, and their skin was black. They were pointing bone spears at him. At this moment, Long Chen realized that he had fallen onto a sacrificial altar on the spider's head. These strange life forms were shouting at him, and based on their furious expressions, they weren't friendly. What are you shouting for? I am a god who came to lead you to godhood. Shouldn't you kneel and accept my guidance? Shouted Long Chen, putting on an untouchable air. Suddenly, the ground beneath him shook. Long Chen was flung into the sky. The spider beneath him was enraged. Ligu, those life forms shot toward him furiously. Idiots, do you not want to become gods? Shouted Long Chen. Either these life forms didn't understand him, or they didn't believe him. In any case, their spears were an instant away from piercing his body. Long Chen punched the closest bone spear, and the life form holding it had his arms explode. Long Chen rested the bone spear away from it. Stop, shouted Long Chen. But those life forms ignored him, their attacks continuing. He hadn't wanted to slaughter them, but he was unable to communicate with them. Their killing intent was also starting to enrage him. Hence, he swept the bone spear in the air in front of him, sending a wave of power that blew away those life forms. They were startled, seemingly not having expected him to be so powerful. In truth, they were very powerful. Even though he couldn't sense their auras, their power was comparable to an average third-step nether passage expert. Long Chen had no idea how they cultivated. He had no way to use the martial heaven continent's methods to deduce their cultivation basis. Luayaba, one life form covered in flickering golden marks suddenly rushed over. Long Chen snorted and smashed the spear down. His spear exploded, but he managed to knock that life form away. Surprisingly, its spear was completely fine. Long Chen guessed that their bone spears were their special weapons. He couldn't unleash its full power. Stop. I don't want to fight you. Shouted Long Chen, gesturing to stop. However, that life form didn't care. Seeing that he didn't have a weapon, it pounced once more. At the same time, dozens of other similar life forms came rushing over, surrounding Long Chen. Fine. If we can't talk reasonably, we can talk with our fists. Novaloon.com Long Chen was finally enraged. His first instinct was that these life forms were capable of intelligent communication, but they refused to do so. He had endured it several times, and now he was done. These golden marked life forms could just barely be counted as having reached the level of a fourth-step nether passage expert. 
Long Chen didn't view them as opponents. Long Chen directly reached out and grabbed the first spear to reach him. The wielder's eyes changed color, and some strange syllables came from its mouth. Long Chen guessed that it was cursing him. In any case, Long Chen first grabbed the spear and then slapped it in the wielder's face. That life form's face collapsed, and it was sent flying. Long Chen was startled. He realized that all their power was concentrated into their skeletons, or more accurately, their marrow. Now he knew why their weapons were these bone spears. They must be their life weapons. Long Chen grabbed the bone spear and swung it at the other life forms. This time, he used the power of his astral spaces. As a result, the bone spear exploded midway. Despite that, a wave of power erupted, sending the other life forms tumbling back. He was about to continue speaking when his expression suddenly changed. He instinctively dodged to the side. A black bone spear pierced through the space that he had just been. It grazed his ribs, leaving a long wound. Even before his blood began to flow out, it began to congeal. The wound also turned black, with the surrounding skin becoming petrified. Poison. Long Chen was startled and even further angered. He had been hoping to scare them off at first, but now he wanted their lives. This bone spear had come silently, but Long Chen knew that it had come from the spider. He recognized its aura. The other life forms cheered upon seeing Long Chen injured. Hundreds of them attacked at the same time. Fools. Since you all want to die so much, I'll grant your wish. Evil Moon appeared in Long Chen's hand, and he cut off the flesh that was being petrified. It was as hard as stone now. This was a strange energy. If the spear had struck his vitals, it would have been troublesome. You deserve it. Evil Moon actually added oil to the flames of Long Chen's anger. It would rather have killed all these life forms on first contact. Everything would have been over. Split the heavens eight. A saber image swept through the air, going horizontally. Any life forms touched by it were blasted to smithereens. Blood mist filled the air. Chapter 2435 Two Races Fight? Translator. Born to be Long Chen had reached the point where he no longer cared to settle things with words. Evil Moon unleashed a wave of black light. With one blow of split the heavens, the life forms attacking him were all wiped out. The distant life forms were dumbfounded, clearly not having expected him to be so powerful. Suddenly, one particular life form with a face full of wrinkles appeared. Its spear shook the world as it pierced toward Long Chen. Long Chen was startled, not daring to tarry. His divine ring appeared along with five stars in his eyes. Evil Moon slashed down. Boom. The old life form was sent flying, and this sight shocked the other life forms. This elder was most likely the strongest amongst them but was still unable to defeat Long Chen. The elder was truly powerful. Long Chen felt his arms tingling. These life forms possessed a strange power that he had not encountered before. A dozen black rays of light shot over at Long Chen just after he had sent the old life form flying. Evil Moon danced through the air, knocking aside those black lights. They were the same black bone spears that had struck him before. Suddenly, the elder flew toward the spider's head. A mark appeared on the spider's head, and it swallowed the elder. A ferocious aura suddenly exploded out of the spider. The earth crumbled as its eight legs bent. It pounced toward Long Chen. The spider was like a war fortress shooting toward him. Its attack was both powerful and fast, reaching Long Chen in the blink of an eye. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon only for sparks to fly upon striking it. It was like metal, and he was knocked back. The spider's fangs then descended upon him as quick as lightning. Long Chen was startled. This is most likely an earth attribute beast. Some things were the same about this world. He was able to deduce its essence. But within this earth essence was some black energy that did not exist in the martial heaven continent. Long Chen's foot stamped down on the air, and he flipped back narrowly dodging the spider's attack. Its fangs snapped shut on where he had been, creating a visible ripple in the air. The spider opened its mouth, shooting out a ball of light. The ball quickly spread, forming a giant net. Multicolored liquid dripped off that net, emitting a sweet scent. Long Chen hastily closed his pores. Even just smelling it could disturb his Yuan spirit. This spider should be a contractual magical beast. That old fellow is controlling it deduced Long Chen based on the sharp attacks and quick reactions that most magical beasts didn't possess. 
A spider beast in particular had low intelligence and wouldn't unleash attacks at this tempo. At the start, it had clearly been a dumb beast, but now it had suddenly grown smart. That was clearly caused by the elder. With a flick of his finger, flame shot out and incinerated the net. It was weak to fire. Just at that moment, bone spurs shot out of the spider's legs, filling the air and leaving him with nowhere to go. The sharp whistling sounds hurt his ears. The elder was clearly enraged and wanted to crush Long Chen as fast as possible. Boom. A pill furnace appeared in front of Long Chen. The bone spurs exploded upon contact with the demon moon furnace. With how many of them there were, he couldn't use evil moon to block them all. Being struck by any one of them would be troublesome. Die. Long Chen put away evil moon and grabbed the demon moon furnace. It was as big as a mountain, and he smashed it at the giant spider. Boom. The spider had just unleashed such a huge move when it was struck head on. However, Long Chen was shocked to find that its body was extremely tough. With its legs stuck in the ground, it was absorbing the earth's energy. He had thought that this blow would smash it half to death, but now he found that it wasn't injured at all. In that brief moment of contact, he sensed the earth's energy being consumed by it. A golden mark lit up on its head. Linger, take it in. Seeing it preparing another big move, Long Chen snorted. The demon moon furnace's lid suddenly popped open, and it devoured the giant spider. The lid slammed shut. Rumbling rang out as it tried to refine the spider. The spider struggled crazily inside the furnace, but it was unable to escape. As more and more flames enveloped it, it was quickly roasted. Having been separated from the support of the earth, it was unable to stop the demon moon furnace. As soon as Long Chen captured the spider, the other life forms went mad, howling at Long Chen crazily. They charged at him. You want it back? Here. Long Chen sneered. The lid popped open once more, and flames gushed out along with a giant corpse. Those life forms were instantly set ablaze and incinerated. Their cries echoed through the air. Along with the spider's corpse, another figure flew out. However, Long Chen had been waiting. He extended a single finger, stabbing it through the elder's head. A flood of strange information entered his mind. There were no memories for him to peer through. He only saw a few fragmentary scenes. Soul Sark techniques weren't very effective on these life forms. Perhaps Meng Chi would have some method, but he didn't. So this sacrificial altar is used to summon these spiders, but they only just managed to summon one before I ruined it. Although the information was incomplete. He was able to piece together what had happened. No wonder they were so angry. They had perfectly prepared their altar to summon these spiders, but he had destroyed it. Suddenly, rumbling rang out along with some fierce shouts. Long Chen saw a group of dark-skinned life forms rushing over wearing beast hides. These life forms looked almost identical to the human race, but their auras were completely different. They held bows in their hands and immediately started shooting upon seeing the life forms that had attacked Long Chen. Those arrows were exceptionally sharp and capable of twisting through the air. Each of them struck their target. Despite being the most primitive wood arrows, they easily cut down these life forms. They seemed poisoned and had a special effect on these life forms. Every arrow seemed to pain them immensely. If struck by more than a few, their movements turned sluggish. Any more than that and they would only be able to wail while crying on the ground. Tens of thousands of the human-like life forms had appeared, but the other side also had numbers. They had equal numbers, but the strange life forms also had to be wary of Long Chen behind them. Caught in between them, the strange life forms collapsed. Some of them charged toward Long Chen, only for the demon moon furnace to unleash a wave of fire that incinerated them. Did I interrupt a battle between races? wondered Long Chen. On one side, he was incinerating anyone who approached him, while the other side had rain of arrows falling. One of these archers came straight through the battlefield. Long Chen deduced that this creature was a woman, but it was difficult to tell. All of them looked similar to him. Without looking closely, he wasn't able to tell if they were male or female. The woman maintained a safe distance upon arriving in front of Long Chen. She spouted some strange syllables at him. I don't understand what you're saying. Long Chen shrugged. The woman seemed to be in a panic. She pointed at the other life forms, said a few more strange things, and began gesturing. Long Chen was lost. 
Realizing that he didn't understand, she began rushing away. Seeing that he wasn't following, she beckoned. Long Chen had no idea what she wanted, but he didn't sense any hostility from her. With the Demon Moon Furnace out as protection, he followed her warily. They passed through the battlefield. The other life forms glared at him venomously and tried to attack him, as well as the woman. The woman was nimble and easily dodged their attacks. She only blocked a small number of those attacks and easily weaved her way through. Long Chen had the Demon Moon Furnace smashing around. Those life forms were smashed to pieces, but more continued to charge at him. Boom. An explosive sound rang out, and the woman pointed in that direction. Another explosion echoed. The earth began to sink, and space twisted wildly. As the void was torn open, a giant spatial crack spread rapidly. The woman let out a startled cry and hastily fled. Long Chen also jumped in shock. These life forms have decided on mutual destruction. Chapter 2436 Spatial Crack Translator Born to be the heavens were torn apart. It was unknown what these life forms had done, but the very world collapsed. A giant crack spread through the air. A powerful suction force followed it, causing space to distort. Long Chen felt as if he was within a sea, with the water crazily pouring into the crack. His expression instantly changed. Watch out. If you are sucked into the spatial crack, you'll be dead. Warned Evil Moon. Fuck. How am I this unlucky? Cursed Long Chen. Just before entering this place, he had been praying not to encounter a spatial crack. Long Chen flew away as fast as he could, but the suction force was so great that his speed was impacted. The other life forms weren't as powerful as him and were rapidly sucked into the crack. Even before those creatures reached the crack, their bodies were torn apart. It was like invisible teeth were rending them asunder. Those broken pieces then vanished into the crack. Suddenly, one of those life forms came rushing over, stabbing its bone spirit Long Chen. It was quite insidious to try to drag Long Chen down right before its death. Long Chen's body flickered, dodging its attack. He was currently swimming against the tide. Any blockades could push him past the point of no return. More and more life forms were sucked toward the giant spatial crack, and some of them just so happened to be flying by Long Chen. Those were the ones to unleash crazy attacks. Fortunately, these strange life forms attacks were quite primitive allowing Long Chen to easily dodge them like a fish swimming in water. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out ahead of him. The woman in front of him had been struck by an attack, resulting in her speed dropping. She was then struck more and more, with one attack in particular knocking her backward. With the suction force growing stronger and stronger from the rear, she was greatly impacted. The others from her race had managed to flee to the edge of the suction force and weren't affected. As time passed, the suction force grew stronger and stronger. Their shouts toward her were useless. Even Long Chen's speed was impacted. There were some experts around the same distance as him, but they were unable to escape the pull and were sucked into the spatial crack. Their screams were all cut off in a hair-raising manner. The woman finally started to be pulled backward, causing the others from her race to cry out. When she was sucked back near Long Chen, he grabbed her arm. As a result, his speed, which had been extremely slow, was further impacted. The woman looked at Long Chen gratefully, and she shouted something that he didn't understand. He focused on flying forward. However, because Long Chen was dragging another person behind him, every meter was difficult to progress. The spatial crack was still continuing to grow larger. There was still a great distance before he could escape the spatial pull. The distant life forms wearing beast hides were shouting in a panic. Some of them began taking off their belts and tying them together, forming a long rope that looked quite sturdy. Fools. Seeing their panicked actions, Long Chen cursed. They had tens of thousands of people. Why were they not splitting up into multiple groups to increase their efficiency? If only one person did all the work, how long would it take? The powerful pull of the spatial crack caused the earth to be sucked inside. Giant boulders flew through the air, unable to resist the pull. Long Chen didn't even have a place to grab a foothold like this. He also didn't dare to summon his lightning wings. If he did, the drag from them might just pull him back in an instant. Toss that useless thing aside and you'll still have a chance of getting away, shouted Evil Moon. Long Chen didn't reply. 
He now understood that this woman had charged through the battlefield to tell him to leave because she had realized the danger. It was because of him that she was caught this close to the spatial crack. How could he toss her aside now? Long Chen suddenly tossed the woman forward. She cried out in shock, shooting through the air straight toward the rope that her fellow people had formed. Those life forms were so slow that even with so many people, they hadn't managed to reach the two of them. If they had been working efficiently, they would have long since managed to reach the two of them. The woman just barely managed to reach the end of the rope and grab hold of it. Her people immediately pulled, bringing her to safety. Upon reaching safety, she looked back to see that Long Chen was starting to be pulled backward toward the spatial crack ever so slowly. She cried out, but there was nothing that she could do. She could only stand there in a panic. Fool. Evil Moon cursed Long Chen repeatedly, unable to believe him. To save some woman that he didn't know and might even be an enemy, he had fallen into desperate straits. It's not like that's a surprise to you. I've been a fool for more than one day. Don't tell me to do things that I can't do, or it'll wound our relationship, said Long Chen. Wanting Long Chen to abandon someone that was only in trouble because they had wanted to save him was impossible. Back in the day, below the nine springs of the netherworld, he had saved Zikai Ankian in a similar situation. He was unable to make a different decision now either. With the suction force growing stronger, he was being pulled back faster and faster. There was no time for those life forms to bind a long enough rope for him. Let's see just what a spatial crack is. Long Chen clenched his teeth and suddenly allowed himself to be pulled back. The startled cries of those life forms rang out in his ears. Divine ring. Battle armor. Long Chen's body became covered in white dragon scales. The power of his astral spaces roared through his body. When he got close to the spatial cracks, he felt pressure like giant teeth tearing at him. The heavenly deos had collapsed here. It was like the jaws of a giant beast were devouring heaven and earth. Rumbling filled his ears. To resist this invisible pressure, he allowed himself to be like a floating log being sucked into a whirlpool. His skeleton creaked at how immense the pressure was. Big Brother Long Chen, I can help you block it. This kind of pressure is no problem for me, said Ling Er. For now, I want to experience it personally, said Long Chen. What is there to experience? This spatial crack was created by those life forms shattering the core of their ancestral land. They've broken the wall between worlds to bring forth the chaotic flow of space. You can think of it as an embankment by the side of a river that someone has now pierced. The chaotic flow of space is pouring in, destroying all life. It's filled with death energy, and once it has saturated this space, you will be wiped out. Entering the main flow is death. If you want to live, the only way to get out would be to suddenly become a sovereign. Obviously, that's a pipe dream for you, said Evil Moon coldly. Death energy. Long Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. Ling Er, I'm going to teach you how to refine the heart corroding bone rotting death spirit pill. Listen well, we're refining pills now, exclaimed Ling Er in shock. Yes, but I'll need to focus on resisting the energy here, so I won't be able to show you. You'll just have to listen, said Long Chen gravely. But is there enough time? Asked Ling Er nervously. Evil Moon had just said that they were in a hole within the barrier separating life from the chaotic flow of space. If they were sucked in, then there would be no way to escape. Who knows? But we can't just wait for death. I don't have any time. I'll transmit the technique and ingredients. Long Chen tossed the medicinal ingredients to Ling Er and then taught her the pill formula. Right now. He had to focus on stabilizing his body, so he didn't have time to teach her like before. Fortunately, she had managed to build an alchemy foundation during this time. This heart corroding bone rotting death spirit pill shouldn't be outside her abilities. Long Chen could feel the pressure growing. His body was almost deforming. Within the darkness, he could only see the slightest glimmer of light from the crack. He was unable to hear the cries of those life forms. This was a terrifying darkness. Even Long Chen was no exception. His chest was tight because of nervousness. However, he had no choice but to relax and carefully sense his surroundings. Just at that moment, the first furnace of pills was finished. But there were only three trash pills and the rest were merely low grade. 
Long Chen's heart grew a bit heavy. Chapter 2437 Fortune Found Within Danger Translator Born to be Big Brother Long Chen. I'm sorry, said Ling Er, almost crying. You managed to succeed in refining the pills the very first time. That's amazing enough. There were nine changes in the flame that you didn't control properly. Don't panic. Take it slow. We still have plenty of time. Long Chen's heart sank. The more nervous Ling Er was, the easier it was for her to make mistakes. She was unable to even bring out her normal alchemy skills. Although Ling Er was smart, she was nervous and under pressure. If he expressed any panic, she would only panic more. Long Chen pointed out the few mistakes that she had made in her refinement. Putting on a relaxed air, Ling Er started her second refinement. Keeping a mind on the corrections, Long Chen continued to sense his surroundings. A scene appeared in Long Chen's mind. It felt like he could see an endless black river flowing rapidly. At the edge of this river was a small hole. The side of the river had been pierced, and a whirlpool had formed there. Long Chen was like a speck of dust spinning within that whirlpool. If I'm sucked into the bottom of the whirlpool, I'll be inside the black river. Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. That black river that he sensed was endless. The whirlpool that he was in was like a drop in the ocean compared to it. While he was like a speck of dust compared to the whirlpool, a pair of lightning wings appeared on his back and he tried to pull out of the whirlpool. You're crazy. You'll only get sucked in faster. You're also using up your energy, shouted Evil Moon. This is the only option. Long Chen continued trying to charge out. But every time, he was sucked back in. He started panting. Within this spatial flow, his spiritual yuan was dropping quickly. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen tried charging out once more. A wave suddenly struck him, sending him flying into the air. Long Chen was flung into the distance and smashed into an invisible wall. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, feeling like his body would collapse. But he was delighted. He had finally managed to escape the core of the whirlpool. He could now be considered to be on the outer edge of the whirlpool. He did his best to continue swirling around this outer edge, moving at an arc to avoid being sucked back into the bottom. At this moment, Ling Er finished her second refinement. There was improvement. There were three low-grade pills and the rest were middle-grade. Good. Keep going. There were three areas with some mistakes. I'll share the energy here with you. Absorb the death energy here and it will cause the heart corroding bone rotting death spirit pills quality to soar. Work hard. Ling Er. You're doing amazing. Encouraged Long Chen. The heart corroding bone rotting death spirit pill required the laws of death to be refined properly. On the martial heaven continent. Refining it required the cooperation of the heavenly deos to absorb their death energy. Although Long Chen had his black soil that possessed death energy, it wasn't pure death energy. It also contained the Tao of Ruin and the Air of Decay. Stripping those away for the death energy was not efficient. There was also the death energy of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass, but that was lacking the element of the law that he required. This black hole was perfect on the other hand. Its death energy was like a sea filling this world. This was a pit of death, and extracting the laws of death from this place was very simple. There was so much of it that he needed to control how much he used. As he expected, with the death energy, Linger's refinement resulted in nine high-grade pills. There was even one that showed signs of reaching top grade, delighting her. Excellent. Linger, it'll be up to you today. Long Chen didn't hold back with his praise. He was also excited. He took one of the pills and swallowed it. Medicinal energy exploded inside of him. The death energy that had been suppressed as much as possible within his body seemed to awaken. Demonic pills really are amazing. Although it's just high grade, it's incredibly effective. Long Chen was delighted. However, he then let out a startled cry. The spatial pressure suddenly increased, drawing him deeper into the whirlpool. Long Chen's lightning wings spread as he tried to charge out. However, after two attempts, he no longer had the spiritual yuan for a third attempt. Fortunately, these two attempts had gotten him a bit further from the core. He could relax ever so slightly, although he had yet to reach the same distance Novaloon.com in the remaining time. I should have enough for one more attempt. Sensing the little bit of spiritual yuan that he had left, Long Chen's heart turned cold. Everything was up to Ling'er, 
He began devouring the heart corroding bone rotting death spirit pills one by one. The death energy within his body slowly awakened, but it still didn't have enough energy to suppress the life energy. The death energy had been compressed to the pinnacle, while his life energy had reached a level of saturation at 90%, making it difficult to force it back. If he wanted to break this equilibrium, he would need his death energy to explosively force the life energy back. The only thing that could provide his death energy with that power was the death spirit pills. Another furnace of pills was finished, this time resulting in three top-grade pills. Long Chen was delighted that Ling Er had finally got the hang of refining this pill. Ling Er, keep working hard. It's all up to you. Long Chen cried out excitedly, sending in more death energy into Ling Er. Ling Er replied confidently and continued refining. Evil Moon finally understood what Long Chen was doing. Little fellow, you're quite smart. You want to make a breakthrough in this place. Once your death energy resonates with this place's death energy, it will have less effect on you. Why else would I say that I'm unlucky? If I had reached the third step, I wouldn't be sucked into this place. I would have easily escaped, said Long Chen helplessly. With his life energy taking up 90% of his body, and this place being filled with death energy, he felt a much greater drag. But if he reached the third step, he would be like a fish in water swimming away. Raising the death energy inside of him was the only way to escape this predicament. Even if you reach the third step, having been sucked into this place, you won't be able to escape. The crack is easy to enter but difficult to leave. Side of Il Moon. What? Why are you trying to jinx me? Cursed Long Chen. Haven't you ever heard that when you get to a mountain, there will always be a way through? Long Chen cursed Evil Moon. Even if it didn't encourage him, it shouldn't be discouraging him. Was that what a comrade did? As for Evil Moon, it didn't feel like it had said anything wrong. Long Chen continued consuming the death spirit pills. His death energy began to rumble, forcing back his life energy. After consuming the three top grade pills, Ling Er finished her next furnace of pills. This time with six top-grade death spirit pills, Long Chen began consuming them two at a time. With the help of these medicinal ingredients, his death energy truly started to push back. Ling Er also grew more experienced, in the end refining full furnaces of top-grade heart-corroding bone-rotting death spirit pills. Boom! His death energy reclaimed its territory, and his life and death energy finally reached an 80-20 proportion. With death energy thrumming within him, Long Chen attempted to fly out once more. This time, he reached the outer edge of the whirlpool in one leap. Ha 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 ha. Success. Ling Er. We succeeded Long Chen cried out in mad joy. Just as he had predicted. When the death energy within his body grew, the resistance of this flow lessened. In one go, he reached the point that he had needed three attempts to reach before. Ling Er was even more excited than Long Chen. She continued refining the death spirit pills. After consuming a hundred pills, Long Chen's body rumbled once more. As expected, fortune is found within danger. I'll break through to the third step of Nether Passage right here. Long Chen gradually came to be able to control his body within this flow of space as his death energy grew. He called back the Demon Moon Furnace and began to refine pills himself. Chapter 2438 Escaping Back into the World Translator Born to be as the death energy grew within Long Chen's body, the surrounding pressure on him lessened. Long Chen could now control the demon moon furnace and refine pills with Ling Er. When Ling Er's body appeared within the black whirlpool, she was able to absorb the laws of death directly, injecting it into the heart corroding bone rotting death spirit pills and increasing their quality. Long Chen hadn't expected to run into such an opportunity here. It should have taken him at least half a year to even over a year to refine enough pills to raise himself to the third step. That was because the laws of the martial heaven continent possessed far greater life energy than death energy. Extracting the death energy was very difficult, and it took a great deal of time. At this moment, Long Chen had practically forgotten just how precarious his current situation was. Ling Er was continuing to refine the pills, but he was now focused on the details. Fixing many minor imperfections, the pills were refined rapidly and with even greater quality. Refining this pill with endless death energy was incredibly easy. 
The top grade pills were tossed into lightning to temper and then into his mouth. Long Chen continued to crazily eat pills, increasing his cultivation base. Around a month passed. Finally, his death energy fully suppressed his life energy and had reversed his life and death energy ratio to 1090. His life energy was now incredibly pure and condensed. His cultivation base had reached the sixth heaven stage of Nether Passage, and his death energy now occupied 90% of his body's energy. At the same time, his life energy had reached the pinnacle of purity. Since he had reached the sixth heaven stage, he had set foot into the third step of Nether Passage. In the instant he reached that level, he had a feeling of absolute control. His death energy made him feel like he possessed the power to take the life of all living beings. His primal chaos space and astral spaces had also grown, giving him greater power. It's time to leave. Long Chen took a deep breath. He began flying toward the distant crack in space. Within this spatial whirlpool of death energy, he was like a fish in water, easily moving through it. However, when he got close to the crack, a powerful wave of power sent him flying back. This spatial crack will only allow you to enter, but not leave. Your chances of getting out are very remote, said Evil Moon. There must be a way. Long Chen shot forth like an arrow, summoning his divine ring and battle armor. He slashed the invisible barrier that he felt. Cracks appeared in the void, showing signs of bursting. There is a chance. Long Chen was delighted despite being knocked back once more. However, his expression fell when he saw the spatial cracks vanish in just a moment. Again. Long Chen used the full power of split the heavens this time. The void once more cracked, on the verge of exploding, but just that little bit meant that he was unable to get past. Evil Moon, help me out, shouted Long Chen. Fine, this should convince you, replied Evil Moon helplessly. Not knowing what Evil Moon meant, Long Chen attacked once more. These two attempts had exhausted half his power, and now he used up everything left. Evil Moon's runes lit up as well, and it joined forces with Long Chen to strike the invisible barrier. Once the barrier shattered, Long Chen passed through, laughing maniacally. His laughter was cut off though when another wave of power sent him flying straight back into the heart of the whirlpool. What Long Chen was shocked and enraged. He hadn't managed to get out? He also saw the broken barrier was now restored. What is going on? I told you, it's only possible to enter but not leave. There are nine barriers. Unless you have the power to pass through all nine barriers at once, you won't be able to leave. Evil Moon sighed helplessly. Nine barriers even Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit of despair. Just one barrier had used up all his power. There was no way he could break through all nine in one go. Even a sovereign would have to have reached the Samsara realm in order to have a chance at breaking through. But this place only has death energy. You could train here for tens of thousands of years without reaching the Samsara realm, said Evil Moon dispiritedly. Although Long Chen wouldn't die now, there was no hope of leaving. He had run out of energy, and this news gave him a serious blow. There must be a way. Long Chen clenched his teeth, restoring his energy as he tried to think of something, but he was unable to come up with anything effective. Am I really going to be trapped here until I die? Long Chen clenched his teeth. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound. At first, he thought it was just a misperception due to his nerves, but he quickly realized that the void around him was quivering. He suddenly noticed a giant black object moving against the whirlpool from behind him. Get out of the way, it's a ghost ship, shouted Evil Moon. Only then did Long Chen realize that it was a giant black ship, which had a sail riddled in holes. An aura of immense decay came from it. The entire boat was pitch black. As soon as he saw it, goosebumps raised upon Long Chen's entire body. For some reason, he had a feeling of absolute terror. Although Long Chen had always thought that his guts weren't small, for some reason, he felt an icy chill. The ghost ship was about the size of a medium flying boat. He had no idea why it would appear here, but it was coming straight toward him. Ripples appeared in the air in front of it wherever it passed. Those ripples shattered any laws of space. Don't just stand there, run. If you're hit by it, your entire body will disintegrate, shouted Evil Moon. Only then did Long Chen recover and dodge to the side. The ghost ship flew by his body, and a wave of power struck him, making him cough up blood. He was shocked. 
Despite clearly dodging it, he was still affected. The ghost ship was too fast for him to get a clear look at. It was already shooting past him. However, at the last moment, Long Chen saw a long chain hanging off of its rear. Without even thinking about it, Long Chen grabbed that chain. The instant he grabbed the chain, his soul shook. It felt like it was about to be torn apart. However, Long Chen bitterly endured, hanging onto it for his life. He felt like he could hear the sound of spatial walls exploding, but he no longer had the power to sense his surroundings. Countless scenes appeared in his mind. It felt like he was passing through spastime. There were scenes of people within an immortal world. Scenes of hell. Scenes of bloody battlefields. Scenes of people being intimate. They transformed in an instant as if he was undergoing some kind of reincarnation. He saw many life forms that he didn't recognize. He also saw fierce fiends staring at him. Some pounced on him, while some fled. But without doing anything, they were blasted apart. It felt like a dream, but it was incredibly lifelike. Long Chen, let go. A panicked voice rang out within Long Chen's dream. He had already submerged within his dream and his reactions were sluggish. That voice was indistinct and sounded as if it came from a great distance. Suddenly, a sensation of absolute terror woke him up. He realized that this voice came from Evil Moon. Without a second thought, he let go. After that, he felt like he was dropping into a bottomless abyss. He was sinking, sinking and sinking. Long Chen, can you hear me? Within that darkness, a familiar voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. It was a voice he had heard several times before. Every time, it only spouted riddles at him. I suppose so. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He had heard this voice several times, but it was always talking to him without him being able to reply. Your position has been locked onto. The heavenly devil races hunters will find you soon. If you still don't get stronger, everything you have will be stripped away. The ancient voice contained a sigh as well as a tone of urgency. But mostly, it just sounded helpless. Who are you? And who am I? Can you not talk in riddles demanded Long Chen. I am your guide, but we are too far apart. I can only sense you when you are at death's door and the ripples of your heart are at peace. As for who you are, do you not know? You are the heir of the nine stars. Your shoulders carry the mission of saving the ten planar worlds. Give up on me. I can't even save myself. So how am I supposed to save others? You are currently weak because you have not found the key to unlocking your potential. You have to suddenly. Long Chen's soul shook. The voice vanished as if cut off by some power. After that, Long Chen slowly opened his eyes, finding himself lying on a bed. There was a woman sitting beside him. It's you. Long Chen was startled upon seeing the woman. Chapter 2439 The Luo Spirit Race Translator Born to be this woman was the one who had led Long Chen away from the spatial crack at the start. Only later had he realized that she had recognized him as an enemy of the foreign race. Under the principle of the enemy of my enemy is my friend, she had informed him that he had to leave. When the spatial crack had appeared, he had realized that the race that he had been fighting were mortal enemies with her race. They would rather destroy their own territory and bring forth a giant spatial tear rather than submit. The woman had most likely noticed something, which was why she had tried to let him away. But the enemy race hated him and launched suicidal attacks just to drag him down with them. You. Awake. Now. The woman smiled and began to speak the language that Long Chen understood. However, it was still stiff and sounded a bit off. Thank you. Were you the one who saved me? Asked Long Chen. Most likely, this woman had studied his language but didn't speak it fluently. So he began gesturing as he spoke. The woman seemed to be making a great deal of effort to understand him. After a moment, she shook her head. You, boat, fell. The woman followed Long Chen's way of gesturing, indicating that when he had fallen off of the ghost ship, they had picked him up. This method of communication was too laborious. Long Chen hesitated and then extended a finger, slowly reaching out to touch her forehead. The woman backed up a bit. But seeing that he was indicating not to move, she also hesitated but allowed him to touch her forehead. Long Chen's spiritual strength slowly entered her mind. See, he found that her spiritual strength was extremely weak. Based on human realms, it hadn't even reached the Xianchen realm. 
Long Chen slowly placed his spiritual seal within her mind. See, her body shuddered and she winced. This spiritual seal contained his language memories of the martial heaven continent. This would allow her to communicate with him easier. However, perhaps it was because her own spiritual strength was so weak or the laws here were different. But the seal that should have settled easily was causing some pain. Suddenly, a figure charged in and smashed a fist at Long Chen, shouting something that he couldn't comprehend. Long Chen raised his hand and blocked it. However, a sharp pain racked his entire body, and he was punched off the bed. The thing that shocked him the most was that he wasn't wearing any clothes. When the beast hide blanket slipped off, he hastily pulled it back on to cover up his privates. The newcomer was a large man. Seeing that Long Chen wasn't wearing any clothes, he was even further enraged. He took his bow off his back and had an arrow pointed at Long Chen in an instant. Kali, the woman hastily blocked him, enraging him. He pointed at Long Chen, shouting something. Looking at Long Chen, the woman seemed to realize something, but the man was still furious. He stamped his foot and left. Long Chen looked around and found that he was in a simple tent. Based on the arrangement of the tent, it seemed that it was a woman's residence. Then adding on that man's furious reaction, it seemed that this was her private abode. Sorry, La Wei is too hot-headed, said the woman. She was able to speak much easier, but her voice was still a bit rough. Is he your fiancé? asked Long Chen curiously. The woman nodded. His temper's pretty good then. If it was me and I found my fiancé had a naked man in her bed, I'd have killed him. Long Chen slowly rose, only for a bout of dizziness to almost knock him down. He found that he was exceptionally weak. The woman tried to support him, but Long Chen declined. That was definitely not a good situation to be in. What is going on? Long Chen asked Devil Moon. You were corroded by the power of time from the ghost ship. That ghost ship has drifted through the river of time, weaving through the cracks between worlds. When you grabbed the ghost ship's chain, your mind was too befuddled to resist the power of time. Anyone else would have been turned to dust, as no one can resist the encroaching of time. It was your primal chaos space that blocked a portion of it, or you would have turned into an old man in just a breath's time. Your body is still seriously injured though. Since you've woken up, it shouldn't be long before you recover, said Evil Moon. Long Chen recalled when he had grabbed the chain. At that time, he had fallen into a dream with countless scenes. Perhaps those scenes had been reality. Ghost ships had always been mysterious existences. No one had ever understood them. No one knew where they came from or where they were going. What a pity I didn't get to step onto one and see, said Long Chen regretfully. At that time, he had run out of energy from trying to charge through the spatial barrier. If he had been in his peak, perhaps he would have been able to get onto it. Miss, can I ask you to leave for a second while I put on my clothes? Asked Long Chen. The woman blushed slightly and retreated, leaving him alone. Long Chen investigated his body, finding that his skin had split open in countless places. It was as if he had been cut by thousands of blades. Those wounds had yet to heal and moving caused more blood to flow out of them. The blades of time have left a strange energy in these wounds. Long Chen found that the recovery of these wounds was going extremely slow. He put on new clothes and tidied up his hair. He also began to use the life energy within the primal chaos space to heal. When the life energy entered his body, it resonated with his own life energy, nourishing him. The primal chaos space's trees quickly withered, even after withdrawing all their energy. He had only recovered halfway. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. The primal chaos space's trees had to be switched out. They were no longer able to keep up with his needs. He started moving, finding that he was now at least able to move without bleeding. Although he wasn't in a state to do battle, Long Chen walked out of the tent to find himself in a tribe. Let me introduce myself. I am Chi Li, the daughter of the Luo spirit race's leader. I'm very grateful to you for helping us defeat the Thorn Devil race. We will always remember your favor. The woman suddenly knelt down on one knee toward Long Chen solemnly, her right hand over her chest in a strange etiquette. You're too courteous Long Chen hastily lifted her up. To tell the truth, I wasn't there to help you. They wanted to kill me, so I had to defend myself. If thanks are necessary, 
I should be thanking you for risking your life to get me out of there. May I ask where you picked me up? Chi Li informed him that they had all felt bad upon seeing him sucked into the spatial crack, thinking that he had died. They had been cleaning up the battlefield to see if there were any of their enemies that were still alive when a giant boat had flown out of the spatial crack. Then they had seen him fall off of it. At that time, he had been covered in blood and unconscious. So they had brought him back. Hearing that, Long Chen couldn't help being embarrassed. It couldn't be that she had been the one to clean up his wounds, right? But he couldn't ask. Come, I'll bring you to see my father. Chi Li beckoned, and Long Chen nodded and followed. Looking around, Long Chen saw that they were living in a very spacious plain. There were many tents set up of varying sizes and colors. They were all made of beast hide. This seemed to be a very ancient tribe. He saw people wearing beast hides and carrying bows on their backs. Behind the tribe was a flourishing forest that extended beyond the horizon. Curiously, this tribe seemed to follow the forest. Chi Li led the way, and quite a few people bowed toward her, along with some strange etiquette that Long Chen didn't know. They looked at Long Chen curiously but also with some unease. Do you have no children here? asked Long Chen. He didn't see a single child in this giant tribe. Our young tribesmen are training in the forest. Only the grown-up members are qualified to walk out of the forest, explained Chi Li. This is one of our frontline strongholds. We've been mortal enemies with the Thorn Devil race for hundreds of thousands of years. They were launching a sneak attack on us that we managed to successfully stop. They took heavy losses, so they activated the sacrificial altar to summon Devil Kings for support. We wouldn't be a match if they summoned hundreds or thousands of them. So we had prepared ourselves to retreat into the forest to use the beneficial terrain for a battle to the death. But you interrupted them. You managed to stop them, preventing the loss of many of our lives. So you really are our benefactor. My father will definitely thank you. Long Chen hadn't expected such a coincidence. Chi Li seemed very grateful. The two of them continued walking, when suddenly... Thousands of her people appeared in front of them, all of them pointing arrows at Long Chen with killing intent raging in their eyes. Amongst them, he saw Chi Li's fiancé. Long Chen shook his head. It seems that your people aren't very welcoming of me. Chapter 2440 Life Spirit God Translator Born to be their bows and arrows were of the most primitive wooden type. However, Long Chen had personally witnessed their power. They were stronger than average divine items. In the face of the hostile gazes of thousands of the Luo spirit race's experts, Long Chen remained calm. He believed that Chi Li would settle things. As he expected, Chi Li immediately shouted something at those people, and they shouted back. Even after a long time of arguing, there was no sign of them retreating. It wasn't just Li Qi's fiancé. The others were also not moved. Chi Li suddenly took out her bow furiously. She knocked an arrow and pointed it at her fiancé. This action caused a startled cry to rise from the others. Her fiancé turned ashen but still remained standing, pointing at Long Chen and shouting something. Chi Li coldly said something, causing him to turn pale. Although Long Chen didn't understand them, he could guess that this was no welcoming party. Miss Chi Li, thank you for your kindness. There's no need for me to see your leader. If we have a chance, we can meet again in the future. Long Chen had his own pride. If they didn't want him here, he wouldn't stick around. It was ridiculous to cause a betrothed couple to have a falling out over him. Long Chen turned to leave, not giving Chi Li a chance to stop him. However, the sound of a horn suddenly echoed, and a group of people came rushing over aggressively. Amongst them was a tall, grim old man. The crowd parted to allow him through. This person is powerful. Long Chen's heart shook. This old man was the only one amongst these people that gave him a sensation of mortal danger. Chi Li exclaimed her delight, running over to him. She pointed at Long Chen and then her fiancé, saying something. Her fiancé tried to interject, but with a glare from the old man, he fell silent. After Chi Li finished her explanation, the elder nodded. He took out a black stone and handed it to her. Upon seeing the stone... The other experts began to shout once more. However, with a cold snort from the old man, they fell silent, not daring to say anything. Chi Li happily gave the stone to Long Chen, saying, 
My father has permitted you to use our soul communication stone. Here, send your spiritual strength inside, and you will be able to speak to us normally. Long Chen hesitated before nodding. He sent his spiritual strength in, and a bright light suddenly erupted from the black stone. The brighter it grew, the more shocked the others were. As his spiritual strength entered, information poured into his mind. This was the Luo Spirit Race's communication tool. However, this stone did not just contain their language. That was just a small portion of it. With how enormous his spiritual strength was, he fully activated the stone in an instant. Even the elder's expression changed. Long Chen's spiritual strength quickly exited the stone. He only merged with the part containing the language, not having looked at the rest. This made the elder's expression soften, and he nodded, seemingly satisfied. Long Chen passed it back to Qi Li, saying, I'm sorry for having caused an internal fracture in your tribe. The matter of the Thorn Devil race was entirely a coincidence. They wanted to kill me, so I had no choice but to kill them. You have no need to thank me. Furthermore, you saved me when I escaped from the spatial crack, so we can count as even. I have things to do, so I won't disturb you any longer. Now that he knew their language, he could communicate with them directly, and what he said made them feel a twinge of shame. Everyone, don't fall for it. The invaders are always crafty and despicable. He's trying to pluck our sympathy. We have to be vigilant, shouted Chi Li's fiance. La Wei. He is a benefactor of our Luo spirit race. You have been going against him this entire time. Are you even a warrior of the Luo spirit race? Is this how you treat people who help us? Demanded Chi Li furiously. You've been fooled by this little white-faced pretty boy. Did you forget just how much pain those invaders have brought us? Just how many of our people have they killed in the past? Shouted La Wei just as furiously. Little white-faced pretty boy? Long Chen's expression grew odd. His face was manly, and while it couldn't be called extraordinarily handsome, it didn't have the slightest relation to that description. However, when he compared himself to the men of the Luo spirit race who were very tanned, he supposed he was rather white in comparison. You bastard. Chi Li furiously slapped La Wei across the face. La Wei didn't even bother dodging. His expression didn't change. It seemed that this wasn't particularly out of the ordinary. Stop it. Whether or not he came here with his own intentions, he has yet to say anything and the two of you have entered such a state. Is that not foolish? Said the stern-looking old man. La Wei and Chi Li fell silent. The elder walked over to Long Chen. He was a head taller than him and still imposing in his old age. He was like a fierce lion. Little fellow, I don't care if it was a coincidence or not or if you had other intentions. The Luo spirit race is not one to forget its debts. You saved Chi Li at that time, and based on our rules, she is your woman, and you are my son-in-law. Even if you were sent here by our enemies, as long as you continue to remain here peacefully and not betray us, you will be one of us, said the elder. The others were all dumbfounded. Chi Li's eyes widened, while a vein popped on La Wei's forehead. No, no, no. That's completely unnecessary Long Chen's head shook like a rattle drum. I have a fancy already. More than one actually. So, this crazy turn caught Long Chen completely off guard. He didn't know how to express himself. Oh, if you decline, you would be looking down on us. That would prove you're a spy sent by our enemies. Do you want to die? Demanded the elder. He raised his hand. Over 10,000 arrows were instantly pointed and ready to shoot at Long Chen. With a single word from the elder, he would be turned into a pincushion. Father, shouted Chi Li, shut your mouth. It is not your place to speak here, shouted the elder. He turned back to Long Chen. Life or death, you decide. Long Chen shook his head. Asking me to marry Chi Li is impossible. However, my life or death will not be decided by you. You can keep being king of the mountain here. I'm leaving. Long Chen walked away. Although the Luo spirit race's arrows were powerful, they weren't enough to threaten him. You can come back. It was just a test. The elder's harsh expression vanished and was replaced by a faint smile. Long Chen looked back at the elder oddly. Young friend, please don't be angry. Throughout our history, we have been tricked multiple times by people from outside this world. 
So we have to be wary. The elder walked over to Long Chen and bowed, performing one of the Luo spirit race's strange etiquettes. Thank you for your help. You've prevented many casualties amongst us. No, I already said it was a coincidence, said Long Chen hastily. The Luo spirit race was one of the indigenous peoples of this place. In other words, every time the Starfield Divine World opened, humans descended and must have had conflicts with them, so they had naturally grown cautious of humans. Long Chen understood why they were so afraid of him. Even if he isn't a spy, he came off of the cursed ship. He's going to bring us misfortune, said La Wei. His hostility toward Long Chen had lessened, but not completely. The cursed ship had to be the existence known as the ghost ship on the Martial Heaven continent. Even the Luo spirit race was afraid of it. So many of us saw the cursed ship, and at a close distance at that, if it really causes misfortune, we won't be able to escape it. So don't bring it up again. What will come will come. We will not be able to avoid it by turning this young friend away. The elder waved his hand, indicating La Wei should not bring up the topic again. Turning back to Long Chen, he asked, May I ask what you are called? I am Long Chen. Long Chen cupped his fists. I do have a matter I could use your help with. Is it all right for me to ask? Please, go ahead. I wish to obtain a map of this world. The bigger the better. Does the Luo spirit race possess one? We do have maps, but they only cover the surrounding territory. If you want one covering more territory, you'll have to go ask the life spirit god. The life spirit god? May I go see them? Long Chen was startled. This world had a god within it? 